What up, what up, what up? <clears throat> what's going on, what's going on? What's popping? What's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? What's popping, people? So, today I'm going to be talking about something real, real, um, you know, real crazy because I, I feel like this right here I'm going to talk about is going to really help you out in a lot of different situations. What up, uh, Brawny Wani? What's popping, bro? What's the deal? So, today I'm going to be talking about how, you know, the more women you have, the better other women will treat you. And, and basically, um... What what I wanted to just explain in general is that women are going to treat you differently based off of, you know, the type of guy you are based off of how many other women want to fuck with you. You understand that? So women are going to do this. They're going to make this shit happen. So before, um, you know, I get into anything, I'll, you know, let some, some people get in the room. <laughs> this dude, Ronnie Ronnie is bugging out. Anyway, so... Make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. Make sure you click the link below. Make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, audio, or hard copy. Okay, this is the shit right here. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you guys hop on that and make that shit happen. You feel me? So, you know, I want to get into this, man. But um, before we get into all of this, uh, you know. Shout out to everybody out there staying, you know, uh, dealing with the with the coronavirus. You know, people people are real sensitive uh, nowadays or today when it comes to the shit, you know. And and I hope everybody's out there uh, being safe as much as they can possibly can, but still live your life. Don't let this shit fucking get you all twisted in your head, because you know, motherfuckers get real sensitive out here when they're scared. You understand what I'm saying? You get real sensitive. What up, uh, Stevie J, Jawan, Handsome Bachelor Lifestyle was good, bro. Indigo TV was popping. So make sure you guys, you know, hit that donate button, hit the like button, and let's get this shit going. So the game's going to be real heavy. It's going to be real heavy. So today I'm talking about, you know, the more women you have, the better other women are going to treat you. And even deeper than that, it's really saying that based off of the, you know, based off your level of game, you're going to get a certain amount of women wanting to fuck with you. And then because you have a certain amount of women fucking with you, that's going to make other women gravitate to you and treat you a certain way. Now, if you're the type of guy who, who has a hard time uh, getting women, right, the reason why you're going to have that hard time is because... Partly, of course, is your game, but also is because you don't have that much women. It's almost the whole, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer type of situation. You understand what I'm saying? Zero, you hilarious. That's just funny. You said Miles is stuck in the woods for the last couple days. <laughs> nah, but that's the thing. It's like the rich get richer, the poor get poorer when it comes to this game. So, if you're the type of guy who has game, you're going to get more women. And then because you have game and you're getting more women, more women are going to want to gravitate to you because you have that game, which is getting you the women and the women, more women, women are going to come through because you have game and also because you have more women. Now, if your game is weak, right, you're going to have less women to deal with and then it's going to be harder for you to get women. And then when you do get a chick, she's not going to treat you as good as she would have if you would have had more women. You understand? So, I want you guys to follow me here on this, right? So, what you have to understand is this. If, you know, you're out here in the game, women are going to treat you better, right? When they know or they think that you have more women. I'm going say it again. They're going to treat you better... If they know or they think you have more women. You understand? And so this is why I, I laugh when dudes be, you know, they be thinking like, oh, I can't tell a girl I'm messing with all these other girls. She's going to, no, it's actually going to benefit you to tell this girl that you're messing with other girls. 
You understand what I'm saying? That ain't going to do nothing but benefit you. Right? So if you're trying to hide the fact that you're dealing well with other girls, that's not really going to benefit you. And on top of that, she is going to think or even know you're a liar based off of your energy and based off of how you're coming at her. Because if she sees you as the type of guy who is on point, who's charismatic, who's confident, all this other stuff, she's not going to believe she's the only girl trying to fuck with you. Right? So then you're just going to come off like a liar. So it's not that you got to tell a chick every single thing you're doing, but you don't need to lie because she already assumes, already knows that you're fucking with other women, and this makes her want to cooperate with you more because she knows other women want to cooperate with you. You understand? April MC in the chat was going on. You said, but if a guy doesn't have or hasn't had a lot of girls, he will act weak, which is why women will treat him like that. Exactly. That is true. That is true. That is 100% correct. And that's what I'm saying where a lot of times when you guys don't have a lot of women, right, it tells the women that your game is weak. And then she's like, well, this guy's kind of, he's whatever, he's kind of lame. So she'll still fuck with you, but she don't have the same respect for you as she would have uh, for another guy who has more game, who has more women. So therefore, she's going to treat you like whatever. So let's say you're trying to get sex from this girl and you want to make something happen. She's the type of girl that'll say, oh, well, let's wait. Let me, let's wait. Let's get to know each other more. Let's talk uh, more before we do any of this stuff. And she feels that she can do that because you're the type of guy who is going to wait. You're the type of guy who is going to call her, you know, three or four times, even if she didn't pick up the first time. And she can see that because she sees that you're the type of guy whose game is weak and she can tell you don't have a lot of women. You understand? And so you have to understand that women generally subscribe to groupthink. You understand? Now, most people in society subscribe to groupthink. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you can see what's going on, you know, in today's society right now. But the thing is exactly, but she's controlling the situation. You know what I'm saying? She's the one to control the situation. And the thing is, women subscribe to group things. So when a woman sees that a guy has a group of women who want to fuck with him, or women in general are saying this guy is attractive, or you can tell that women are going to gravitate to this type of guy, she wants to be a part of that. But if she sees there's a guy who women don't want to really fuck with like that, or a guy who's not that, you know, he's just on some whatever shit, She's not going to be that attracted to him. Why? Because there's not a group of women wanting to fuck with him. You see what I'm saying? So that, that's what you got to understand. Is that, you know, the more women you have, the more women you're dealing with, the more women that you interact with on a, on a consistent basis, the more women who want to fuck with you, that's the more women who are going to want to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? The more you get is going to be the more... You have access to. The less you get, the less access you're going to have. You understand? Shout out to a Black Book Basics in the building. You understand? The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. That's what happens in the game. You understand? So, again, a lot of the times when you're having difficulty, like let's say you're the type of guy who's having so much difficulty getting sex or getting girls on a consistent basis, it's going to continue to be difficult for you because you haven't uh, you know, push through that situation to get more women, which would mean you have to step up your game. You understand? And then once you start getting more women, you're going to notice more women want to fuck with you. And the reason why you're getting more women is because your game has stepped up. You understand? So it all works in, in this sort of direction. You step up your game, you get more women, and then because you've Stepped up your game and got more women, you're going to get more women. You understand what I'm saying? But if your game is weak and it continues to be weak because you're not stepping up your game, it's going to be hard for you to get a woman. And then when you do get a woman, she's not going to show you the same level of respect or cooperation that she's going to show a guy who gets a lot of women. You understand? Because, see, 
when when a chick is dealing with a guy who gets a lot of women, right? He's already sexually attractive to her in the first place just based on the fact that he's getting a lot of women. She's like, what is it about this guy that, you know, multiple women want to fuck with him? What is it about this guy? I, I need to know. I'm intrigued, right? And then on top of that, when he has game and he's charming and charismatic, that makes her even more attracted to him. Now, when she sees a guy who doesn't get a lot of women, whose game is kind of weak, she's like, she's like, well, I'll sort of settle for him and use him for the time being. To, you know, just because, you know, she'll be like, well, my ex-boyfriend just, we just broke up. Me and my boyfriend, I'm feeling kind of down. I'm feeling kind of lonely and unattractive. And this guy over here, he's giving me all this attention. He's taking me out on a bunch of dates and dinners and flattering me and calling me all the time. But I can tell he's not the type of guy that gets a lot of women. Why? Because he's fucking calling me all the time, taking me out on all these dates and dinners, right? And so therefore, she's like, well, why should I even give this guy any cooperation when I haven't called him in two days and he's been hitting me up and he still hit me up? Why, why do I need to do anything to try to get him when I already got him? Because he, he's super needy. He's, he's hitting me up all the time. I can treat him however I want. And this is what happens with a lot of you guys out there. You, you fuck with chicks and they end up treating you however they want because they see that you're the type of guy who ain't got no chicks. You're the type of guy who ain't got no game, which is why you put up with the nonsense. You understand? See, they know that a guy with game, a guy who's on point, won't put up with the nonsense. But if they see you putting up with the nonsense, right, that means that you're the guy who don't got no game. And then, therefore, she's going to continue to just, you know, fuck with you like that because the respect level is not there. You understand? The respect level is not there. And this is why I'm telling you guys... Why it's so important to step up your game because when you don't, you're just making it harder on yourself to be attractive to women. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I like, this is real simple. It's real simple. Real fucking simple, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking simple. It, it, that's, that's, that's all you need to understand is that when, when you're out here doing this shit and interacting with these girls... Understand that they're going to treat you based off of the amount of women who want to fuck with you. Because the amount of women who want to fuck with you is a reflection of your game. You understand? It's a reflection of your game. So, women, they want the man that other women want. They don't really want the man who other women don't want. See, part of what keeps a woman interested or what makes her feel excited to be with you is the, the thought, right, of her being able to lose you. You understand? And especially lose you to another woman. So if a woman doesn't feel like she can lose you to another woman then she don't think you're that attractive. You understand what I'm saying? She doesn't think you're that attractive. So, for example, if you have a girl that you're dealing with, like, let's say you got a girlfriend, and I go up to your girlfriend and I say, hey, do you think your boyfriend is cheating on you? Right? Now, if she immediately uh, responds and says, oh, hell no, of course not. He's, he's not cheating on me, please. Like, she just dismisses it like it's nothing. My boyfriend, please, he ain't cheating on me. What up, Ojani? Right? If your girl, if I asked your girl, are you cheating? If I asked your girl, hey, is your boyfriend cheating on you? And she was like, please, he, him, he ain't cheating on me. That means that she's she doesn't see you as that much of an attractive guy. Right? But if I go to a girl and I ask her, hey, do you think your boyfriend's cheating on you? And she has to think about it for a second. Right? And she contemplates it. That means she finds you attractive. You understand? All money and Jay, you said, but couldn't her ego also be a, a, a big thing that's denying it? I mean, in some cases it could, but in most cases, what happens is, is that her, you know, denying that you would be cheating that quickly, 
means that she doesn't see you as the type of guy who, like, could, could you know, um, could make that happen. It's like, it's, it's the same thing as this. It's the same thing as, like, when, you know, when guys are saying, I want to fuck with a virgin because, I you know, if she's a virgin or her body count's low, right, that must mean she's not really a slut out here like these other girls. So if I talk to a guy who purposely got some virgin type of chick who was on some super like oh i'm not promiscuous i all this other shit and if i said to if i said to that guy hey you think your girl is uh cheating on you or or is fucking guys behind your back he's immediately he's gonna be like oh hell no because he feels that type of girl wouldn't do that you understand what i'm saying but if he was dealing with a girl who he thinks is a slut he'd be like uh i don't know maybe i hope not right so it's gonna be a different answer you see what i mean based off of who that guy thinks he's dealing with. So based off of who the woman thinks she's dealing with, her response is going to be different based off of that. And so what I'm saying is that if you're the type of guy who she feels most women wouldn't want to fuck with, she's not going to believe you would cheat. But if if you're the type of guy who she sees that most got, most women would, would want to fuck with and get with, she's going to, you know, question whether or not you're, you know, you're being faithful. You understand what I'm saying? And that all, that all boils down to how attracted she is to you and how attractive she, she thinks you are. You understand what I'm saying? Marketing digital online facts. That's what's up. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, is that, you know, based off of how women are treating you, and this is, this is see, this is why I say you got to pay attention to chicks who have high interest, medium interest, low interest, right? Or no interest. Because that determines how she views you, right? But see, if let's say if you're dealing with a bunch of different girls, right? Based off of what's happening on a consistent basis, okay? Based off of what's happening on a consistent basis, right? That's going to show you, you know, your level of game and how women view you just in general. So if in general, most of the time you deal with women and they say, oh, well, I got to get to know you, you know, I got to, we got to wait to have sex. I'm not the type of girl, you know, all that other goofy shit, right? That's usually because you're a guy who, on a consistent basis, isn't getting shit popping with chicks. Which is why she comes at you that way. You understand what I'm saying? That's why she's coming at you that way. Now, if you're the type of guy who does get girls, right? You're usually, on a consistent basis, you're usually not going to hear a whole thing about, hey, let's get to know each other more. Let's wait. You're not going to hear that on a consistent basis. On a consistent basis, you're going to be doing more fucking. You're going to be having more chicks comply with you sexually. You understand what I'm saying? And that directly correlates to how many chicks that you're fucking with. Because, see, a woman could just meet you and she don't know nothing about the girls that you're fucking with. But your game actually reveals the amount of girls you're fucking with. You understand? It reveals how much access you can get. So even if you don't even literally need to be fucking with a bunch of girls at, at, at a time, but your game reveals how much you can get, how much access you have. You understand what I'm saying? Brony one, you said, so, Locario, when you're in a monogamous relationship, you become less attractive? Exactly. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. That's it's a very, you know, uh, excellent point or excellent question. See, this is why when dudes get married or they get into a monogamous, uh, uh, you know, fucking relationship with a chick, right? There's part, like, it's not to say the woman isn't attracted to him. But she's not as attracted to him as she once was. You know what I'm saying? And she, and she probably won't even realize this because a lot of this shit is subconscious. You understand what I'm saying? But when you're a guy in a monogamous relationship, your woman isn't going to be as attracted to you as she once was before y'all was in that monogamous relationship. Because before you was in that monogamous relationship, there could be a situation where you were not only dealing with her, but you were dealing with other women. 
You understand what I'm saying? And then you gave up all those other women or your that lifestyle to just fuck with her. You understand what I'm saying? And so now you've become a guy <laughs> who only has that one chick, which is your girl. So on the surface, it may it may seem as if the girl, um, you know, um, you know, is that attracted to it to you. But what it is is that a lot of times what keeps the attraction going is the thought that you may be cheating at some point. Or she has to wonder, or she's looking out for that, or y'all are hanging out and she's looking at how the women are, are responding to you. You see what I'm saying? You guys get the likes up, donate to the show, hit that PayPal button, you feel me? But yeah, that's what it is, guys, I'm telling you. This is why I be telling you motherfuckers, step up that game. Step up the game. You feel what I mean? <laughs> You got to step up the game because all of this shit becomes easier for you once your game is stepped up. You understand? It's going to be way harder for you to, um, you know, get a chick to really comply and fuck with you, right? If, you know... Shit isn't really, you're not really getting shit popping off with other girls. Because again, women subscribe to the group think. So if the group is saying, you're not the guy, right? Then she's not going to treat you like the guy. She's not going to treat you like that, that on point dude. <laughs> Bronnie, you said monogamous relationships is a lose-lose either way. You have to, to lose... All the women you once you was once in contact with and you can't cheat? Facts. Facts. Hanson Bash Lifestyle, you said, but how does how does she know at the end of the day what the guy is doing? She knows based off of your behavior. So this is what I, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that. When you talk to a woman, think about it like this. Let's let's take take yourself out of the mind of a, of a dude, but just think of it from the perspective of a woman, right? So let's say you have a 27-year-old girl. You know what I'm saying? 27-year-old chick or whatever, right? She's been getting hit on since she was 18 years old, right? You know, hot chick, whatever, right? So what happens is she's dated and dealt with a number of different guys. So... What happens is, is that she can tell which guys are confident and who have game, and she could tell the guys who are not confident and who don't have game, right? So, for example, even with the approach, she can tell who's confident based just off the approach. So, let's say she's at a club, at a bar, and she get one guy that approaches her, and he's like, uh, uh, hey, miss, um, uh, sorry to bother you, but I just, um... Um, I thought you were really pretty, and I, I just wanted to come over and say hi. Um, um, my name's Dexter, uh, right? So he, he's coming to her like that. Then you have another guy come over and say, Hey, miss, how you doing? What's going on? What's your name? Word? All right. What, what, what brings you here? What you doing over here? Yo, you looking so damn fucking good in that dress, my God. Anyway, listen, my name's Locario. Like, two different, two different guys, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> So, just off the approach, she knows which guy gets women and which guy doesn't. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And she just met these motherfuckers. So, based off the approach and based off the energy, right, she knows. So, she knows that the first guy, he's sitting there nervous, fumbling over his words, scared to talk. She's like, this motherfucker, and, that, and that's not attractive to a woman, right? But when a dude is approaching a chick and he's confident, he's talking to her, he's interacting with her in that way, right? She's going to know. So she don't even need to know that uh, how many, uh, uh, you know, chicks the dude's got. All, based off of his, his, his energy, she assumes this motherfucker knows what he's doing when it comes to dealing with women. 
And this motherfucker don't know, you know, with the other guy don't know what it is. You understand what I'm saying? So the guy who's all nervous or whatever, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. The guy who's chill, cool, calm, and collected and confident, he knows what he's doing. You understand? He knows what he's doing. That's the thing. That's the thing. And this is what this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is why I tell you guys how important the game is. Because y'all forget that the women you're dealing with have met you before. You understand? They've met you before. Now, what I mean by that is this. They've met your type. They haven't met you. They haven't met like the person you are, but they've met your type. They've met your archetype. You understand? Like she hasn't met like you, you, because ain't nobody like you, you, but she's met your archetype. She's met the guy who's nervous and who's fumbling over his words and who's scared to talk to chicks. And she's met the guy who's confident, the guy who's cool, calm, and collected, the guy who's charming. She's met those guys before. You understand? She's met the guy who is trying to use his money to impress her. Right? She's met the guy who uh, looks good, but he don't know how to talk to a chick. She's met the guy who looks good, who knows how to talk to a chick. She's met the guy who doesn't look good and doesn't know how to talk to a chick. She's met the guy who doesn't look that great, but he got a, a fire-ass mouthpiece. She's met all these guys. You feel what I'm saying? And so, based off the type of guy you are, that actually makes it easier... For her to want to choose up on you. You understand what I'm saying? It makes it easier for her to want to choose up on you. Because dudes always talking about choosing signals. Truthfully, the real choosing signals happens once you're in the actual interaction. Meaning once you're talking to the girl and interacting with her. Right? Because now she's like, okay, cool. This guy knows how to fucking talk to chicks. See, you know a lot of y'all would get more chicks just based off of y'all knowing how to have a conversation. And flirting, you would get so many more women. Dudes always worrying about, oh, the looks this, looks that. Nigga, as long as you fucking brush your teeth, comb your hair, shave, put on something nice, you're good. Go fucking talk. When you know how to talk, she's going to be like, oh, shit, he's one of those guys who actually knows how to fucking talk. Because women, because when women go out and they're meeting guys, they want to have an experience. They want to be able to be interacting with a guy who makes them, they feel something you understand what i'm saying they start to become interested in you based off that energy you're you're bringing out in the situation you understand what i'm saying oh my dj you said do i think there's a set number of archetypes in the game i mean it, 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 it's 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 dudes fall under you understand what i'm saying certain uh different types of dudes Actually, check out my dude, Alan Roger Curry. Alan Roger Curry, I think, in my opinion, uh, you know, broke down the best archetypes as far as, you know, alpha male, total alpha male. He says, I think, alpha male with beta traits, beta male with alpha traits, and total beta male. But check out his, his video where he, he breaks that shit down. You understand? But... Women, when they when they deal with you, what up, Kelly Moore was popping. When women fuck with you, they are see, they're already seeing. Okay, this guy he's on some beta male shit. This guy's on some alpha male shit, right? They they could feel they could feel it already. You understand what I'm saying? They can feel it already. You understand what I'm saying? John, you said, is it also the more women you have, the more problems you have? That's why you should be, uh, what is it? Was that poly polygamous with two or three to have less draining? Well, the thing is this. It's not necessarily, I wouldn't want to say problems, but the more women you're dealing with, the more your management skills have to be on point. You understand? Because just like I, I talked about this on the Bad Boy Show, which all you guys should be on, go to Bad Boy, go to uh, Patreon.com. Slash bad boy, slash uh, Miss Locario, patreon.com slash Miss Locario. Um, I was talking about if y'all heard the, the, um, what is it? The, uh, that's that rapper, NBA Youngboy or some shit. 
he was fucking with Floyd Mayweather's daughter. And I think Floyd Mayweather's daughter stabbed his baby mama or some shit. You understand? And, uh, you know, because he didn't know how to manage that situation. He a young dude, too. He's like 20 or 21 or something like that. But he didn't know how to manage the situation. So a lot of guys be thinking, oh, the game is just about I want to get this girl, I want to get that girl. But you still need, need, you still need to know how to manage the situations. If you don't know how to manage your situations with women, you're done. You understand? You're done. Like, you might as well not even, like, really deal with women seriously. Because you, you, you need to know how to manage the situations. You understand? Bronny said, uh, I would say I'm a Sigma male. Do you think they exist? What is, what is a Sigma male? Let me, let me Google. Let me, let me Google. Let's Google what a Sigma male is. Hold on. Cause I know they have like sigma males, omega males, all this other stuff, but I think it all it all falls into a, a certain category. So the first thing I said, uh, I see where it says, "What is a sigma male?" Um, to put it simply, the term sigma male actually stands for an introverted alpha male who lives his his life his own way. He has numerous characteristics of both types and has actually gotten the best traits of an alpha male. And a beta male. Okay. Well, this is the thing. It all falls under really the two categories of alpha male, beta male. So it sounds like a sigma male maybe falls under the category of an alpha male. Or could fall into that category. But I haven't, run, I haven't done too much research specifically on what the hell a sigma male is. You understand? See, I'm seeing all these other definitions and shit for this stuff. It's, you know... See, and that's the thing. You can, Shit could get too damn fucking complicated it's either it's either this like i was watching this dude um i think his name is caleb jones he has this uh 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 site called black dragon blog you guys should check that out he's on point right and he said in one of his videos he said really it boils down to like you know and i'm paraphrasing but basically he said is guys that exist who are attractive and get shit popping with women and then there's guys who don't you know what i'm saying it's really that simple just like uh shout out to ron wills or ron wills will say select and non-select is that simple so either you're gonna fall into what you know that category right now you could break it down a little more but it still falls under that you understand like for example how alan roger curry bro broke it down he broke it down a little more but it still falls under alpha and beta you understand what I'm saying? So, you know. So, yeah, don't don't get you don't get too caught up in all that shit. It's just either and and, and again, it's these are just archetypes. You understand what I'm saying? This is archetypes. But it's just to explain you know the diff, different types of guys and what happens in those situations. You see what I'm saying? But um, but you guys, if you can call up, the call number 646-481-3901. 646-481-3901 is the call up number. You feel what I'm saying? And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that I will pick up when you call, um, you know, you can send a donation and put your first three numbers in the chat, and I will pick that one up when you call in. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you guys, you know, do that and get that shit popping. But, um, but yeah, that's what it is, man. It's just, you know, you got it. You got to understand that women are going to treat you certain ways based off of, you know, based off of your game level. You feel me? You. Yo. Yo, Lucario, what's good, my boy? I'm chilling. What's going on? Chilling, chilling, man. It's a uh, big thing in the chat, bro. All right, what's good with you, man? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. You know, going through this whole corona shit, man. But, you I know, feel you. Yeah, man. Um, I wanted to call in because I know a big topic on your show has been the whole direct, indirect mm -hmm. thing. And uh, you, you made a video yesterday that you responded to a, um, a, a commenter. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to say is... Um, 
indirect can work. Mm-hmm. It does work sometimes. Mm-hmm. But the problem is direct works much better. Mm-hmm. Because when you're indirect, you know, it's kind of like a passive trait. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you're direct, you weed out a lot of time wasters. Right. Because just because a girl is hanging out with you doesn't mean she's going to have sex with you. Right, right. So you bring in, you being direct about sex on the table, what it does is it gives the girl the opportunity to, you know, try to, you know, try to negate the mm-hmm. situation. And anybody with game could tell, you know, she might respond a certain way and you're like, I, you know, she's not with it. Or she might respond away because girls like to act like they're not sluts in a way where like you say something sexual or she might say something like, mm-hmm. oh, like, uh, uh, like, you know, we'll see or like, you know, you could just feel it, you know? Right, but, right. Um, yeah, and, it, and the thing is, it's better to be direct because now you get to know the girl a little better, you know, you, mm-hmm. you know what type of stuff she's into. Maybe, how you even know if that girl sucks dick? Maybe she don't suck dick. Right, right. You, you didn't mention it. How you don't know if that girl she don't like using condoms. Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, she might be allergic to latex. You don't, you don't know all this shit, mm-hmm. you know, like, but indirect can't work, but you're going to come, you're going to come into a lot of problems, you know, like wasting time, wasting money, you mm-hmm. know, like, are you going to get a hotel room from a girl that didn't, you didn't speak about sex? With? Exactly. I right. Mean, you, right. You, you can have sex with her, but wh- how about the ones that don't have sex with you? Now mm-hmm. you're going to feel, you would have been like, you know, maybe if I just brought some up, Mm. it would have worked you know and the number one reason why direct is the best because at times that we're living that is because um they were talking about it also in the comments is post-rape mm. trauma you know mm. if you would have brought up the sex you would have had evidence on text message mm. you know like you would have said something she would have been like oh yeah you know i like doing this i like doing that or yeah i want to fuck you right or even on the mm-hmm. phone you could have had audio proof mm-hmm. you know now what if you're indirect and then you chilling with a girl, you drinking or something, and then shit happens, and then she wakes up the next day like, oh shit, what the fuck? Right. Or her boyfriend finds out, and next thing you know, you got a you got a case on your hand because she wants to lie, she don't want to look like a slut. So mm-hmm. direct definitely like indirect can work, but you know it's a it's, it's dangerous game. You might mm-hmm. as well just go direct. Mm-hmm. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. See, the thing is, the thing is, is is that. Um, you know, because I, I I got a whole program on my Bad Boy membership where I talk about direct and indirect game. And basically, what I was saying in there is um, the best thing, as far, as far as indirect is concerned, the thing that I usually teach when it comes to indirect only is usually just like um, opening a conversation indirectly. But everything else, because that's easier for most guys who are scared to approach women. You understand what I'm saying? But everything else beyond that, is, is is you know as far as indirect is usually is, is usually you're gambling with time. That's the only that's the problem with indirect. A lot of times is you can still get get sex, but you're gambling with uh you're gambling with your time, and that's that's the the biggest drawback for it. Because what happens is it sucks where you might be a guy that's gonna take a chick out on three dates, and then she'll never she ain't never have sex with you, and, and you wanted to have sex, but now you wasted all that time and money on this chick that you ain't never gonna have sex with. You feel what I'm saying? That's and so, true. right, that's and then dudes true. be getting butt hurt about it. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, you could have just been like, yo, let's let's get this popping. Like, let's go over to my crib. Let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? The the problem is, Vicario, most dudes are scared when they direct that the girl's going to say something and she's going to be like, whoa, I'm not like that. I want to do that. And then they'll be like, damn, if I didn't say that. And it's a bad thing. But what I would say is, and even me, I still fall into this from time to time. The only time I might be a little indirect is if the girl's, like, local. Mm. And it's like, you know what? Because a lot of things about females, they they act all a certain way through text. But in real life, if you're a real man, you can control the narrative. Mm. So if she's local, I might just, okay, if I want to see her, you know, in person, I know what I got to do. Mm. But if anything I got to go out the way, I'm completely direct. I'm not mm. wasting no time, no gas, no money. Mm. If I got to go out my way, then I have to know right then and there, you know? And even the local stuff is not always a good move. So I'm 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 gonna say direct all the way. You know, oh yeah, that's the thing. It's like because again, it's, that. so that's a good thing. Yeah, the thing is again, it's 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 a lot of uh, <laughs> the thing is, you know, when I teach guys, what I do is is let's say for example, where I teach guys, um, you know, how to indirectly ha- open a conversation, right? Um, right. Because for because th- this is the thing with most most dudes, most dudes are scared to approach women right so what happens is when you're indirect when you're first talking to a girl meaning you you open the conversation on an indirect note 
it shields you usually from her rejecting you. You understand what I'm saying? Which is why a lot of guys like indirect game, period. Because it, it takes longer for the girl to reject you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you have right, a shield right, right. of indirect um, interaction. So meaning, let's say, for example, you go up to a girl and you say to her, hey, what, what time is it? You understand? Like, look, you know, like, let's say, like, hey, I, I forgot my watch at home. What time is it? Right? So you're indirectly asking her, trying to get into that conversation. So she, y'all just talking about the time now. So now you're seeing how receptive she is talking to you, period. So if she tells you the time and she looks at you a certain way or whatever, and then you continue the conversation. So, but the thing is, a lot of guys, the reason why they like the indirect is because, again, it, it delays the rejection because you're not, you're not outright making a statement to her of what you're trying to do and what you're trying to make happen. But, but, but again, this is what I said. It's a time issue because, and this is the thing, this is the, the, the biggest uh, false thing guys, guys uh, need to understand is that, and you, you said it a little earlier too, is that some dudes, they'll think like, oh, well, I don't want to, they say, I don't want to ask her too, or I don't want to say anything too soon because if she says, oh, I'm not the type of girl, they feel like they messed up this interaction, right? But see, the thing is, you 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 don't necessarily you don't you don't mess up the interaction. It's just she, you just exposed that she wasn't really feeling you like that anyway. You understand what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's true. Because what happens is this: let's say you don't mention sex or anything at the beginning, and then you're just hanging out with her, y'all kicking it, and you're being ver sort of indirect, and then you get the pussy. You might think, oh well, good thing I didn't say anything because I wouldn't have got the pussy. But the thing is you still wasted time because you would have gotten the pussy if you said something in the first place anyway, which is why she fucked you anyway. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's the thing dudes don't get. Like, she was going to have sex with you anyway, and which is why she had sex with you. Not because you were being indirect. She wanted to have sex with you anyway. And the thing is, if she didn't want to have sex with you, she wasn't going to have sex with you anyway. So the thing is, it doesn't matter really if you go indirect or direct you know, whatever, it's just that when you go indirect, you're wasting more time. That's really what it is. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Indirect game, man, you run into a lot of time wasting, you know? Like, right. just be, have some balls and be direct. That's a fact, man. Facts, bro. Yeah, look all real, man. Appreciate everything, man. All right, bro, appreciate the call, call, my brother. All right. All right, bro. All right, I'm holla. Peace. Yeah. Man. So the call the number 646 4813901 All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, what's poppin'? Hey, what's up? It's CJ. What's going on, bro? How's it going, man? Um, I do what you said, and um, I told that girl that, um, like, to hit me up and all this corona shit that I was down, but mm -hmm. it was, like, more problem. Like, uh, you were telling me to tell him, like, I have to go to work or some shit. Mm -hmm. And, like, the thing is, like, she knows, like, you know what I'm saying? She knows that I'm not working, I'm not doing shit. That's part of the, you know, the, mm -hmm. the shit we talk about. So I was, like, I kind of, like, twisted it up. But, you know, I kind of got the point across. I was, like, listen, I, I, like, I like you, but I really want to see you. So when all this shit dies down, just, mm -hmm. like, hit me up. Like, right. I don't know if that, you know, should suffice, but probably. But uh, the reason I'm calling is I want to ask you a question about uh, this girl. Mm. I'm talking to right now like I met her on like my boys live and stuff like that like right. he kind of like put me on her like I was asking like oh you know what's your name how you doing and, like how's it going and she was like you know after before live and she was like I right, like hit me up and if you're interested like I might give you a chance so like I was just wondering if you had any advice like what well, I could say to her like get your pop in time so she said she said if I'm if, if I'm interested I might give you a chance that's what she said yeah, yeah, she was like, if he's interesting, you know what I'm saying, like, I'll give him a chance to my boy, trying to, like, put me on, like, oh, it's CJ and stuff like that, he's my man, like, mm -hmm. you know, give him a chance, he's cool and stuff like that. She was like, if he's interesting, you know what I'm saying, I'll give him a chance, but, you know, I gotta... See, y'all, y'all, see, y'all, y'all talking to, she was on the live with y'all? No, no, she was on the live with my man, like, it was, like, her and, like, my, my, my bro, like, from high school that I was, mm -hmm. that she was on live with. Mm -hmm. And then I just, like, I, I hopped in. And then I was just, like, I was, like, saying, like, what's up? Like, what's your name? And then mm -hmm. we, we started, like, talking kind of. Like, I was, like, how you doing? Like, how you doing? Mm -hmm. So, Corona shit. And then he was, like, oh, yeah, you should, like, give my man a chance. And stuff like See, that. your she boy, like, your boy, you know? your boy already fucking it up for you. He's already, he's already fucking I, it up. How do, you, how do you fuck it up for me? I don't understand. Because like, he said know, to her, listen, listen what he said. 
He said, give my boy a chance. Do you, you understand I what that, how. you understand what that sounds I like? Said, you said boy. I don't no, know no, 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 no. I, I want you. I want you to understand what that what 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 just happened. She he said he said give my boy a chance, right? And then she replies, okay, I'll give him a chance, or I might give him a chance, right? What it is is yeah. Ain't no fucking chick supposed to be giving you a chance. You supposed to be giving her a chance. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's yeah, what I'm saying. So if I was on the line with the chick, I'd have been like, hold on, hold on, hold on. There ain't no chance you giving me. Listen, take my, my take my number, you hit me up, and I'll see if I want to fuck with you. That's that's the frame okay. you got to ha have with these chicks. You understand okay, what I'm saying? I got you. That's all I'm saying. No, and talk to your boy. Don't be telling tell him, like, yo, don't ever in your life say no stupid shit like that again. Talking about give my boy a chance. You understand what I'm saying? I got you, I got you. So, like, now, like, but now, like, she following me back on Instagram or whatever, and, like, she was, like, you know, hit me up, but I'm trying to, like, like, would you have any advice so I could, like, would I consider, like, get your pop and, like, get an interest in me and, like, what I should, like, you have any, like, advice on that? And, and where, wait, you, you say you live in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. And where she live? Long Island. Okay, so y'all, y'all, y'all good, y'all close. So, listen, say, same protocol, bruh. Hit her up on 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 the FaceTime, talk to her for like five or ten minutes, and be like, "Listen, when this shit done, I'ma holler at you again." You know what I'm saying? You seem cool. I'ma hit you up and holler at you when all this shit die down. I'ma I'm holler at you. We're gonna be gonna get together and, and chill and do whatever. You understand what I'm saying? All right. That's it. All right. That's all okay, you need to do. You. That's all you need and to now, do. Like I, I got I got one more question though. Like mm. like for example, like I'm not saying I know you're saying like only talk to girls in the area and stuff like that, but like once you come across a girl like that's like because I've been hitting up like girls nonstop. Like last night, I came across this girl that she said she lived in like Canada or some shit. Oh, like man. I think she was lying because like she sounded like she was from the south and it said like Tennessee State University and shit like that. So I think she was just kidding. But like what do what do I do when like when I come across a girl that's in like another state or some shit? Like I just I just leave it like. I leave it be a, a, a what? Like, I should just, like, I should take the information down and, like, mm. leave her when I got, like, you know, when I have time to fly out and stuff like when she No, 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 no. listen, of... listen. If a chick is in another state, right, ignore yeah. her ass. Period. Ignore her? Ignore her. She's done. And, that's, okay. and this is the only time you don't ignore her. If she says to you, hey, I'm coming to Brooklyn, or I'm coming to New York at, you know, when, let's say she says, I'm going to be in New York in August or some shit, or whatever the fuck it is, when all this shit die down, or May, or whatever, right? Then okay. you say, okay, cool. Um, then, you, then you could talk to her, right, for a little while, for five minutes, and be like, listen, when you get down to New York, holla at me. That's it. All right. Same thing. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what I'm saying is, is that, if, but if you're talking to some chick, you said she was, she said, you said she was in Canada, Right? She said she lived in Canada. Yeah, she was like, she was basically like, she basically like beat me in the punch. She was like, I don't see the point of us talking since I live all the way in Canada. I have no interest mm -hmm. in like coming to New York and all. Like, I, I, I mean, you can't, you can't basically, like, she basically did the work for me. I'm like, I can't. Exactly. So, it, right. Know? So it's done. You know what I'm saying? So if a chick, if a chick is fucking, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> if a chick is anywhere outside of the tri state area, nigga, do not even take her seriously. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Like, that's it. You. Don't make you. them waste your time. You feel me? I got you. All right, bro. I'm Ola. I right, appreciate it. All right, All peace. Right. All right. What up, Fabian? I started the live stream at 4. At 4 o'clock. They, they, YouTube, they don't be giving out the notifications, man. They be fucking up sometimes. They be fucking this shit up. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Hey, it's Andrew. How you doing? What's going on? Just chilling. What's up? I'm chilling. Yeah, before all this stuff started, I used to have chicks from Tinder just come in mm. straight over to my house. Mm -hmm. But ever since this started, a couple of them acted like, yeah, I'm gonna come over, and then they flake last minute. Mm -hmm. In the old days, I would have just, you know, just ignore a chick if she act wishy-washy or fake on me. Mm. But under the current circumstances, because mm. it takes a little bit more interest or determination on her part, mm. still come through. The ones that came up with excuses last minute, mm. 
Mm. You think I should hit them up again, like a week later, and be like, so you want to come over? Because one, one claims her, her phone fell in the toilet. <laughs> the other one says she got a flat tire. Could be true, could not be true, but nah, nigga. like I'm saying. Nigga, this, 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 I'll tell you this. If it's a chick you've been fucking with already, like a chick you done fucked a few times, and or y'all, you know what I'm saying? If it's a chick like that, and she was like, "Hey, I want you know want to come over," but you know, this coronavirus got me all feeling weird, then that's cool. You could you could still fuck with her. But if it's a new girl, you understand what I'm saying? That was gonna come over and see you, that you matched with on Tinder. No, she's done. You understand what I'm saying? She's done. That's it. She's done. You understand what I'm saying? Like because. What you could what you could have done with those chicks is look, like you could fuck with your old joints, and and see them, and then the new joints be like, look, I'm a, I'm gonna highlight you when this shit die down. But if she's insisting on coming over, or if she says she's gonna come over, and then she don't, charge your ass to the game. You understand what I'm saying? Like we yeah, done. That's how it would have been in the past, but I was just wondering because it's because everything's so weird now for mm-hmm. her to even be willing to come over. That's like the rare exception from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. nowadays so i was thinking if she was that interested to come over that she was almost mm-hmm. almost made it mm-hmm. like i even have one of them saved in my phone as almost that's her name so i'm like should i hit up almost next week and be like so you almost got here you know come through nah don't don't hit her up again now now if you want to do something where you don't hit her up and if she hits you up then that's that's another thing that's different but I would say charge ass to the game. You understand what I'm saying? Don't even fucking deal with her. Because again, like I said, look. Now, let me get let me get something straight because apparently I'm you know, supposedly uh like because I'm on YouTube and I and I and I advise people, you know, people people were telling me that I'm responsible for what everyone does in their life. So, I'm telling people I'm not telling people to go out and fuck with people now, but I'm saying that if that's what you were going to do, or if that's what she was going to do, and she said that she's going to do it, and she didn't, then charge it to the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, she don't... Because, again, what I'm saying is, is that a new chick ain't got no fucking history with you. She ain't got... No, she's done nothing yet. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I ain't going to give you no... no. It's just like if I was... If I was... um, If I fucking... If, I'm, if I own a company... And I have a worker there who's been working real good and been on time, uh, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for six, seven months, almost a year. And then, then I have another worker who I just hired yesterday, and they're three hours late on their first day. You're fired. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're fired. This, yeah. is, this is your first impression, and you fucking up. Why would I continue to fuck with you? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I usually am. But I was just wondering if any of that changed because of, you know, current circumstances. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Ain't none of that shit changed. <laughs> Ain't none of that shit changed. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, what about this whole idea, though, of you keep getting to know chicks and mm-hmm. then say when everything dies down, then, mm-hmm. you know, then I'll hire at you, whatever. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that seem like you got no options that out of the blue, I'm hitting her up next year, and I'm like, hey, you remember me? And that seems like I didn't deal with anybody. Is it better... Since nobody's coming through nowadays anyway, mm. isn't it better just to put everything on hold and just, I don't know, just lift weights and read books and forget about girls for now? No, you if, could if do that. No, to- no, you could do that too, but get, but this is what I'm saying. The difference between doing that and having a, uh, 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 you know, a list of chicks you could holler at is that once, let's say for example, because I'm, I'm sure that, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, that this shit don't last a year because we're going to have other problems just beside of the coronavirus, but that's a whole other different story. But let's say, just for sake of argument, on, I don't know, May 31st or something, or May 30th, everybody could go back outside, everything is cool, and, you know, they open up the restaurants and everything again, everything is cool, right? So now, if you just chilling, right, what's going to happen is, is that once that occurs... You ain't got no chicks to holler at. Now, if you because you're going to be like, damn, I wanted to actually meet up with someone, hook up with them, have them come over to the crib, whatever. You ain't got no girls to holler at. Versus if you're hollering at 30, 40, 50 chicks and you got a list of 50 chicks that you could hit up, you understand what I'm saying? Then you already got that list who already know you. 
You understand what I'm saying? They know of you. They know you. I've talked to before already. So now you say, yo, what's good? Uh, what, you know, what you doing at this day or that day? So you don't, you've already gone past the, the fucking introduction stage, the song and dance. You're already gone past that. You already talked. You understand what I'm saying? So let so let's say let's say for example, all the chicks that I'm I'm FaceTiming, right? Let's say all of them I say, listen, um, you know, let's say we're just having a conversation and I say, yo, girl, you know, man, I wish this coronavirus shit wasn't popping off because if it was, if it was a regular day, you know, I'd invite you over to the crib and and you know, fuck the shit out of you, right? So now you're telling this girl on FaceTime, she's laughing about it, or whatever. And then you say, but nah, but seriously though, when this when this is over, I'm gonna want you to come through and, and get naked. You understand? I'm gonna want you to come through in my house. You're looking so good on the screen. I wish I could jump through the screen. Let's get this popping, right? So now, two months pass by, everything's dying down. Hey, yo, what's good? What's popping with you, right? Now, let's say she don't come through. Let's say she fronts or whatever, she flakes. Cool. I got 49 other girls that I didn't did that to already that I that I could hit up. You understand what I'm saying? So when the time comes, you already have the shit in the stash to do it. But if you're not doing anything, when the time comes for people to go back out, you're just starting from square one. And what, what happened is, is that you have the, the most attention from women at this moment than you will ever have ever. You understand what I'm saying? Ever. Yeah, they're all bored. All exactly. Dude, anyway. dude, my dude, I, I, I swear, to, I, I'm not even bullshitting you guys. In the past... Maybe I don't know two days or something. I've gotten at least I don't know 125 to maybe 150 matches on on Tinder, just in the past two days. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not even I'm not even like you know and and ha like more than half of those are chicks from other countries. So I'm not even fucking talking to those girls. But then you have the other other side of the coin where it's chicks that's in the area. But it's been so much that I haven't really even been on the Tinder because it's so fucking much. I haven't. Even, it's. I've been like, yo, I didn't got time for this at this point. But that's what I'm saying. You got to take advantage of that shit right now if you really wanted to make it happen. So I'm telling you, there's a guy right now who's racking up the fucking matches and getting the fucking information and setting things up. So when it's time for him to go out and get it popping, he can get it popping because he don't need all fifty of the girls to fuck with him. You understand what I'm saying? If he get even five out of those fifty, he good. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what that's what yeah. I'm saying. You see what I mean? Yeah. They're just on there to entertain themselves. Most of them don't even talk. They'll match with you and just say one word back and then kind of figure it out. Yeah, then you just you just keep it moving from them. If they not all you gotta do is get them off the site to your phone to, to the FaceTime. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You'd be like, hey, listen, I don't really like to talk too much on here. I like to talk, you know, face to face, hear your voice. Here's my number. When are you free to talk? And mm -hmm. that's it. They're free all the time. They got nothing. Right, exactly. No, <laughs> nah, but some of them, they still, you know, they st some people still working from home. So she might be working from home. So then she, she say, after you don't finish working, cool. Hit me up. Let's 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 do this at seven o'clock. Boom. FaceTime, talk to them for five minutes, ten minutes the most. And then set that shit up so when you know when it comes time to to get the shit popping, you get the shit popping. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? That's it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. All right. Oh, I appreciate you. All right, bro. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right. Later. All right, guys. Call the number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Make sure you guys get the lights up. Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, Lucario, what's good, man? What's going on? Chillin', chillin'. Yo, man, I have a quick question for you, dog. Mm. Like, this, like, this question might be, like, off-topic and all that, mm. but, like, why is it female nowadays, man? It's like, they're, like, so proud to be a thought nowadays. You said they're so proud to be a what? To be a thought. A I thought? Mean, like, yeah, like, they fuck for money. Like, it's like they're proud of it. It's like they go out on dates. Have been spending all their money on them, uh -huh. and then you just like, fuck for bread. It's like why is it like nowadays like all those females mm. used to like on on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. It's like they're proud of being a thot. I mean, mm. it's like you have like all those website girls taking making pictures for money and all that. Like why is it like that for mm. man? 
I mean, I mean, I, I guess the question I ask you is: should they, should they, should they be ashamed of being a thought? I mean, not really, but it's like it's like a career now. Yeah, you know what I mean, it's yeah. like it's like nowadays, bro. It's like being a stripper. It's like yo, she's a stripper. Now I mean, it's like they're proud to be a fucking stripper nowadays. It's like they're all about their money. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and then I feel like there is a lot of pimps out there that go along with it too. You know what I mean, it's like mm -hmm. I feel like for men, we don't have a lot of men don't have their standards higher because mm -hmm. you have all the females they go shopping for clothes. Just to take naked pictures or like take mm. close picture online, just to post it online. I mean, it's like. Mm. No, I mean, well, the thing is, is you know, if they got dudes who's gonna pay for it, then why the fuck not? You feel what I'm saying? What is it? I said, well, the thing is, they got dudes, they got guys who're gonna pay for it. So if, that's what I'm saying. You know, no? what I'm saying? like, like that's what I'm saying, and then like, like sometimes dudes be telling people like female hit the wall. I don't think female hit the wall because a chick can be like freaking 200 pounds. She takes some booty short pictures online. Next time she have like 300 likes. Mm. All dudes. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's that's what like crazy, that's man. that's what that's look. If if there's a market for it, you understand what I'm saying? Then you know, motherfuckers gonna pay for it. You understand what I'm saying? It just is what it is. So it, it's you know, if they if they feel good about they what they doing. Then that's what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? So it's like the thing. The thing with me is, you know, I don't like. I don't condone tricking. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't like. I understand it. Like I'm not gonna hate on a motherfucker who who's tricking and and then hate on the chick who's you know getting the dude to pay for for some pictures and shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, that's right. the case. They both get what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing the thing about it, I feel like nowadays for females, it's mm. like a hustle. Mm. It's all about the bread, you know what I mean? It's like mm. they have to trick and then it's like a normal thing nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I'm going to meet this girl, I'm going to take her to the mall, mm. buy her clothes, spend like $200, and it just maybe I might get lucky to fuck her. It's like mm. a normal thing nowadays, which mm. is crazy. Well, that's you know the, I mean? But that's what I'm saying. The thing is, is that, you know, <laughs> these chicks, you know what I'm saying, they're... They're gonna do it because guys allow that to happen. You see what I'm saying? And it's a lot of guys that's doing it too, bro. That's the thing. Are you saying there's a lot of guys that do what? That's it's a lot of guys that are tricking out there. Now, well, yeah, but that's the thing. I'm not. The thing is this. You know, I'm not even hating on their hustle. You know what I'm saying? I personally wouldn't do it. I personally wouldn't uh, pay a chick to to fucking see her ass or whatever like that's you know it was like for what you know what i mean but but if dudes is out there doing it then hey that's that's what happens you know what i'm saying yeah, that's crazy man but you know why are you are you are you are you trying to mess with some chicks with thoughts and he's saying you gotta you gotta pay for them or something like what's going on nah nah i mean the thing about it it's like i've noticed a lot of females man it's like mm -hmm. that's what they're doing you know i mean mm -hmm. like i had a chick that came over to my crib like I'm fucking her, then then, I, then after I was done, she went to the bathroom. She was taking pictures, and she was selling her pictures. She's like, yo, this guy I'm about to cash out me some money. I gotta send him some nudes. I'm like, what the hell? It's like all the female you know, they're just selling nudes nowadays, bro. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, so she, so she took pictures in your bathroom and sold them pictures. Yeah, hey, actually, I took them on my phone. And, and wait, I she was and, her. and she ain't give you a cut. Nah, she didn't, she didn't do that. But I did smash her, though, for, for free. So. <laughs> you should have got your cut, bro. What's going on? You gotta... I should have got it. I know, bro. I mean, I feel like a pimp for, for a minute, so I was recording her. I'm like, shit, I'm a pimp. I'm about to play this girl. Oh, man, bro. You should have should have got your cut. Be like, listen, if you're taking pictures in my bathroom, using my for space, real? you got to pay oh, some rent. House? April, you say she had the glow. Exactly. No, that's the thing. You got you to get your cut, bro. See, if, no, if, next if, time, I'm going to do that for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I man, but, bro, I Babe. mean, that I... just kind of, like, kind of, like, got me thinking. I'm like, yo, it's like, the females, man, it's just like, that's all they do nowadays, man. It's like mm. being a stripper. Mm. It's like the thing. Like, being, being a thought is the thing nowadays, man. It's just crazy, dog. 
Hey, that's, that's listen. Say, man. They 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 hey, all right, thoughts, bro. Hard. They all thoughts. That's the thing. They all thoughts. Just some of them, um, you know, figured. Let me get paid for my my thotting. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's all mean, the same shit. Because like, chicks chicks is out here. Like, chicks is I'm out here sure. giving pictures. Because I'm saying, have you ever been in a situation where you dating a girl, you fucking with a girl, and she takes pictures and she sends them to you? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's just she didn't charge you. Same shit. Right, but, like, the thing about it, like, I feel like some of those females, they kind of figured out some dude's male nature because they know dudes love sex. Mm -hmm. They kind of use it against some men. They're like, yo, if you want to have sex with me, I got to towards you. So she's like a hustle, mm -hmm. but, yeah, she knows most men, their weakest is sex, so they're going to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, they're being like a hustle. Nah, they're hey, like I'm being shit. Hustle. I I ain't knocking the hustle though. You feel what I'm saying? If they I'm want... not knocking it, but <laughs> it just amazed me how there are so many dudes that are tricking out there though. It's just like driving me crazy. Well, that's man. because most dudes ain't got game. That's why. That's why they tricking. Well, they got no game because I had this shit. She came over. She told me she met this guy the first night. The dude took her to the mall mm -hmm. and spent like two hundred dollars on her, bought her clothes, and after that. But she came to my house and I fucked her for free. Mm -hmm. But first night a dude met you, took you, took you to the mall. Mm -hmm. like, what kind of shit is that, bro? But see that, but see that that goes to what I was talking about in the show, where I was saying that there is, um, you know, that there is certain guys who the chicks want to have sex with lot. and do that shit with, and the certain guys who they just gonna use for their money and all that other shit. Bro, it's like a lot of females. That's what they do, man. It's like it's crazy, man. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't no girl with like a lot of dudes sipping on girl like that, like tricking like that. But all the girls that I met, mm -hmm. they be telling me how they go out, dudes paying the bills. Oh yeah, the money. all they that. Never even meet the dudes. I mean, what the hell? Oh hell yeah, they all they go. They, listen, man. A lot of these <laughs> chicks out here that like again, you bring up a good point. A lot of these women out here. They are going to do that again. This goes with what I'm saying. Some guys they're gonna give it for free. Some guys gonna to have to pay. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's it. So my thing is, you ain't even gotta worry about that. You you getting it for free, so you good. Don't worry about that shit. Let them let them do what they got to do. You feel what I'm saying? It, it just it's just part uh, of the game. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it, like those females, they're making a lot of money, bro. Some of them don't even work anymore. Yeah, that's that's more, that's man. good. That's good for them. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like if they could do that shit and I have to work a regular job, then let them do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not like you uh, it's not like you hating on it. It's not like you hating on the chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not hating on the chicks, though. It's just like it just kind of drive me crazy how there are so many dudes out there that are simping and it's freaking on females. Mm -hmm. So it makes it kind of harder for all the men because when you first meet a girl. She say you take her out on dates and then go. No, but it, no, but that's what I'm saying. It don't make no, no, no. It don't make it harder on the men. It just makes it again. Like I said, you gonna it have a girl because hold on, yeah. didn't you hold on? Didn't you say? Didn't you say you just smashed the girl who 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 had the OnlyFans page? Right. Right. So how did, how was it harder on you to smash if you smash? What happened? How was it harder? Well, there's all the girls that I smashed after I smashed them. They sent me to take them to the mall. And then I said, no, the next thing we stopped talking. <laughs> so the chicks you was fucking with, you smashed them, and then they like, oh, let's go to the mall and, and shop, and then you say no, and then they stop talking to you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, because they expect me See, to... See, that sound, that sound kind of uh, suspect to me, though, because if... Why would they first smash you? Why would they first fuck you, and then... Be like, take me to the mall. So they be asking you for money. No, they but that's what I'm saying. I'm like, so, so what I'm saying to you is, did they ask you for money before y'all y'all smashed? Nope. So wait, okay. See, this don't even make sense. The chick who's a thought, she asked you for no money, and then smashed, and then asked you for money. Come on, dog. Come on, son. Don't don't. Well, what I'm. There's, Don't do that. Come on, son. That had done it to me. Not the one that I was talking to about. I'm just saying, like, for all the girls in the past that I would hang out with them, we'll chill, smoke, and chill. Then I fuck them. The next, you know, the next day, hit me up and say, "Yo, let's go to the mall." And then 
I'm like, why, why are we going to the mall? He said, like, well, let's go to the mall then and buy me some clothes. No, but see, this, this, this is the thing. This is the thing. Usually what will happen is, is that they would try to get money out you and then throw you some pussy afterwards, right? But if, yeah. if in fact what you did say happened or is, is happening and they fucked you, what they'll do is, is that they fucked you because they, they was attracted to you, but then they're like, let me see if I can get some money on the back end. But then, but then, because they couldn't get money on the back end, that means that they weren't that into the sex. If they're not hitting you back, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. See, see, Flax X said you ain't laying down right. That's what, that's what I'm saying. That's that's the only two two situations. Either either they gonna try to get the money and then throw you some pity pussy, or they'll fuck you and then try to get the money afterwards and then not fuck with you at all because you ain't giving them no money. You feel what I'm saying? But if they yeah, like the, if they like the dick, they would have kept coming back from for the dick. Yeah, because sometimes when when they do come over, I have a nice place, a nice car. Mm. Think they think I have bread. I think that's what it is. They think mm. I'm gonna spend money on them. Mm. I mean, but I don't do that. Mm. But yeah, I man. But that's all I want to say, man. It's just like it, it's crazy how. Oh man, like there's so many dudes that are slipping out there. It just makes me mad for all the men, bro. It's just ridiculous. Nah, they ain't gotta be mad. Nah, let them let them do them. Let them do them. Let them, they got they gotta you know let them spend all the money and do the do the shit they think they need to do to get some pussy. And then you you make sure you just doing what you gotta do, you know, because you ain't paying for it. So then you you do what you gotta do. You know what I'm So I don't understand why you even upset about it because you it ain't like you gotta pay for the pussy, right? So you just do what you gotta do. Right, but like, how come a chick that weight, like three hundred pounds? Take a picture of her. But why? Like, but why are you worried about a three hundred pound girl though? Why you like my? I want to know why you care. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, why do you care so much? Because it makes certain females think like they still got it. Because see, but see, this is what I'm saying. You, a lot of what you say and sounds so contradictory, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you sound like a guy who is frustrated because he can't get chicks. But then at the same time, well, you sound like you saying you smash him. I get a lot of girls. Okay, so then why do you... Saying, that's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know, it's, like, it's like if I'm rich, right, I'm not going to go into a store or establishment or, or, or talk about a product and be like, God damn, this shit's so expensive. I'm not going to give a fuck about the price because I'm rich. I could just pay for the shit. It ain't no big deal. You feel what I'm saying? But if I'm, if I'm not getting... If I don't have money... I'm gonna be like, fuck, why does all these things gotta be so expensive? So it's like it's like a, a person who's making fifty million dollars a year complaining about spending like a hundred dollars a month on, on your phone bill. Like it just don't make sense. That's what I, I that's what I'm trying to say to you. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to understand why you're so like passionate about this. You understand what I'm saying? Like that that's what I wanna know. The tricking part, I really don't care about if dudes do that. Mm. What I really get on my nerves is like how a chick that weighs two hundred something pounds mm. can go online, post a picture, then think she get like three hundred likes. So the female, what they're thinking now, well, I can be fat and ugly, then have three, four kids, I can still catch me a man. Mm. It's like us men, we don't have any standard, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like we gotta raise the bar <laughs> high for the Females, man. I know, but are you? But are you? You're not fucking those 200, 300 pound girls, right? No, I'm not. Fuck, no, nah, bro. It just okay, when so, I see that. Shit, but that's what I'm saying. Why, but that's what I'm saying. Why? Because it sounds like what you're saying is is that because that 200, 300 pound girl is getting likes and and attention, it's making it hard for you. You it's understand? It's not making it hard for me. I'm like, how the hell a chick that weighs three hundred pounds don't even look. Good, just because she got a fat ass. But maybe, man, maybe man, guys like three hundred pound girls with fat asses. You know what I'm saying? Maybe all those well, guys who liked it like three hundred, three hundred pound girls with fat asses. Oh wow! Well. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, like, man. I'm just, I'm still understanding. Like, why you even care so much? Like, you care like you, you sound super passionate about something that really doesn't really affect you. You know what I'm saying? It does not affect me, bro. Like, yo, like. I don't know all my games from you, bro. Like, I get a lot of bitches. I'm doing very good. Right. But there's some time when I go online, mm. 
then I see all those females, like all those dudes are trick. Uh, yo, there's a lot of dudes that are So wait, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel, do you feel, okay, do you feel that, that when you're dealing with certain girls, they may, certain girls that you want to get with, not, you know, the, the fat chicks you don't like, do you feel that certain girls that you want to fuck with might give you a hard time, and the reason why they're giving you a hard time in certain situations, because you might still smash them, but they may give you a hard time, you're thinking, the reason why they're giving you a hard time is because, since... So many dudes are giving all of these chicks so many likes and making them gas in their head up or whatever. That's making it hard for you. Is that uh, what you're saying? Well, the chick that I mess with doesn't give me any hard time. Mm -hmm. They all cooperate. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's only two chicks that happened with me the last six months. Mm -hmm. One that I smashed. The mm -hmm. next time she asks you for money, mm -hmm. and I give her no money. And then the other one, I can to go take her out to the mall. Those mm -hmm. are the only two that happened to me. In the past six months or a year, all the shit that I smashed, I mm. didn't pay for nothing. Mm. But what bothers me is like when I go online, mm. a chick can be busted looking, bro. Mm -hmm. Busted looking, just because she's fat, people are saying that she's thick, but she's fat. Mm. She have a short on her. Take a picture of her ass in the bathroom, and she have like three hundred likes. Right. With females. Now they're thinking that well, I can be fat and ugly and still have dudes holler at me. But they this can though. Saying, they can because it's, it's happening. You see what I'm saying? And then those dudes, they're sipping. They are, bro. <laughs> like, yo, females doesn't have problem getting dudes, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh shit! But yo, man, like, hey, it, hey, listen. As long as you're getting what you need to get out the game, don't worry about all that other shit. You feel me? As well, all right, man. Thanks but, for my all call, right, man. Bro. Appreciate, I appreciate the call, it. bro. All right, later. Man. All right, people, get them likes up, people. Make sure you guys hit that donate link. Donate to the show. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Hey, what's up, Lucario? What's going on? Hey, I'm uh, I'm one of the callers that called last week about my Tinder pictures. Mm. Uh, I put some more on there. And I'm still not seeing it or whatever. I'm still not seeing the results. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I downloaded a lot more apps. I, uh, like Tinder. I, I just don't got Tinder. I got Bumble. I got mm -hmm. Hinge. I got all these different apps. Still not seeing no results or whatever. All right. Wait. Hold. So and, wait. Did you? Did you? I think. I think. Did you send me something? Yeah. I, I sent it to you. I, 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 well, I didn't know the Ask Lucario one was uh, what I was supposed to send it to. But okay. I think I sent it to another link of yours. So I, I think emailed you, it. I could, I could have sworn maybe you sent it to me. What's your? Hold on. What's your? Um, shit. I'm trying to find this because I want. I want to. I want to. Can I? Okay. I want to pull up your picture so I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Kenneth. Uh, the email should be Kenneth Russell sixteen at yahoo dot com. It should be which one? Kenneth Russell Kenneth, okay. At Kenneth. yahoo dot com. Hold on, Kenneth. Dot Russell. Okay, hold. Well, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can I show? Can I show people these pictures? Yeah, you can show. All them. right, let's 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 all help Kenneth out with the pictures. All mm -hmm. right. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So let's. I mean, I'm. So, huh? Let's look at one of these pictures. All right. So this is one of Kenneth's pictures. Okay. What do you guys think of this picture? Hopefully I can see it clearly in the in the screen. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I want y'all in the chat to give to give Kenneth some 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 advice real quick. Let me see some more of these pictures. Hold on. All right. Here's here's another picture. Hold on. Here's another picture of Kenneth. That's another picture. Hold on. Let me see if I can if we can get that decent looking. Right. <laughs> All right. So they're saying, they're saying, uh, well, this is what I, this is what I'm seeing so far with all the pictures you sent me. Like, yeah. some of them, some of them, first of all, is too dark. Like the last one I just that we just showed is too dark. I can't mm -hmm. even hardly see it, and you dark skin like me, so I can't even hardly yeah. see your face. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. <laughs> now this one right here is is a little bit better. This Which one right one? here is a little Which bit better. One? You know what I'm saying? Because you can see your face clear, all that other stuff, right? 
Which one is it? Uh, which, the one with, the one one with you with the, with the plaid shirt on. It's like okay, the third yeah, picture you yeah. sent me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Let me see some more other pictures. See again, this is just you like, like standing around in a, in a background, and you can't really see. It's, it's dark. See, all yeah. you, you got. What I would say to you is, you got to mm -hmm. get some more, some more uh, professional pictures. You understand what I'm saying? Some professional. You got to mm -hmm. get some professional pictures, bro. Professional pictures, better lighting, and some pictures where it shows some more of you. More of your personality, you you doing something, you being in a, you know, in a situation. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is even mm -hmm. a little bit better because you're in a store, you're doing something. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they will say that yeah. you got to get some better clothes too. But yeah, I would say mm -hmm. switch up the clothes, get better mm -hmm. pitch, get better looking pictures. Because this one right, this right here, this first picture is you know. It, it makes you look like Super Mario Brothers or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not which one? Which <laughs> that one? first one with the with the with the uh, with the hat on and the, and the, you'll probably you can see the playback of this video once you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like yeah. yeah, like you got. I'm I'm telling you. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta have you gotta have better 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 quality pictures, better lighting, um, hooking up with some better clothes. You feel what I'm saying? And then you should be mm -hmm. good to go because some of these pictures right here, it's not looking, uh, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> exactly, K. Zagan said your pictures should say to women you're the right guy for them to fuck with. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and what I'm saying is, is that a lot of the pictures that we're seeing, it, like, you're, you, you, you seem like it doesn't show any type of, like, swag or, or, or fun energy. You feel what I'm saying? Any type of, like sex appeal you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's what i'm saying like you got you got to uh, one get some professional pictures two uh get some well get some better clothes to wear in the pictures you know what i'm saying um and three take some pictures where if you're going to be outside like be outside doing something like you're just like sort of standing in front of walls with your hands clasped mm -hmm. and, you know what i'm saying you got to seem you got to have that energy where it seems like you're you got some personality in your picture. You see what I'm saying? Spice it up a little bit. So yeah, my, but like, see, my thing is like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, like, I really, I, I really don't know how to go about it with with some of them. Like, I see you giving me advice on mm -hmm. it, like, you know, and like, uh, someone told me like practice on taking better pictures, but like, you know, like I don't really know how to go about it. No, no, like, that's what I'm saying. Hi like, hire, hire a professional photographer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hire a professional yeah. photographer to take the pictures for you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got, I'm a, I got uh, some other questions. Uh, like, I've been taking myself in and out of the game a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, I just, I don't know. Like, I'd be, I'd be catching myself taking shit personal mm -hmm. a lot of times. Like, I feel I can sense that my ego is getting in the way a lot of shit. And I'm trying to ask, like, how do you go about it without, like, letting your ego get in the way of things. Because I, I like be taking, say, like, rejection, like, a little bit more personal. Mm -hmm. And it'll take me a little bit longer to put myself back out there. Right. Well, you first know, of all, like, let me, let me, wait, where, where are you from again? I'm from uh, Louisiana. Oh, so you're only in Louisiana. Damn. you. Because I was going to say, yeah. if you was, like, close to, close, well, we, nobody can really travel at this point now, but, you know. Because yeah. um, my, my dude, Miles, he does photography, so he'd mm -hmm. hook you up or whatever. But... Uh, but real quick, I want to show you guys. I, I just want to show you guys a picture of Miles real quick, and this is a regular picture he took the other day. Do you see like the difference, the personality in this picture? You understand what I'm saying? Like with the this, the the like, it's a different type of energy. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying because they're saying in the chat you look really stiff in your pictures. You feel what I mean? Yeah. And you gotta you gotta yeah, have more of that. You see what I mean? That's what I hear a lot, like, and, like, that's what I'm saying, like, I notice my energy comes off that way, mm -hmm. and, like, I guess, I guess I'm trying to learn how to, I'm trying to learn how to get better with body language, mm -hmm. I hear that is a big problem of mine, like, like, I don't know, like, I catch myself, like, you can see in a lot of them, I'm not even smiling. Right, right. Like, and I can't even, I'm not naturally getting myself to smile, mm -hmm. and I don't, I don't 
I don't know if it's because I'm like I'm feeling bad or right. whatever. And it's like, not even necessarily where you got to smile because it's not like you have to smile, but it's yeah. like people can. People, it's almost people can feel the energy through the the photo. Like they see your like your facial expressions, your the way you're standing, mm-hmm. all of that stuff. You got to relax a little bit. So what I'm saying is, and, and what you were saying as far as like your um, you saying like your ego and all that other stuff. Yeah, like I, I can, I just, I can just tell that I take a lot more stuff personal. Mm. Like I know you were talking about the other day about rejection or whatever, like you know, and like it takes me a little bit longer to get over it, or you know, like it might take me like a like three or four days or five days to get over some shit, you know. Mm. And like I, I just see myself having more trouble trying to put myself back out there, mm. you know, you know. Like I said, I'm the one who called the other day about. Mm. Co- the low confidence stuff mm. and like what I'm trying to work on, you know. Right, right. Like a lot of it, I understand, is a lot of like just it's low confidence. Right. You know, See, the thing, is, to, the thing is, the thing is, trying to go about shit and try to, you know. Right. See, the thing with the thing with a guy like you is, is that, um, man, it's like because there's there's a lot of things that you would need to work on. <laughs> For a consistent period of time, like you're the type, you're the you're the perfect type of person who needs actual coaching. You understand know what I'm saying? Like one on one coaching, because even just off the online shit, there's so much shit that I would need to like, like be there. Like even like I, it would it would help if I was there with you. Like if me and Miles was with you and he was taking your photos and we put them shits up and I help you with your fucking bio and all that other stuff, that will help out a lot with that. But as far as your confidence and all that other stuff is concerned. A lot of it has to come through, um, you know, actual repetition of putting yourself out there. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, so the thing is, before all of this coronavirus stuff happened and all that, were you were you actually going out to meet women on a consistent basis? And uh, I'm not gonna lie, no, it wasn't. And um, mm. that's something I kind of struggle with. Like, like mm. I said, like. Like I said, I would t- I would put myself out there for about an extended amount of time. Mm. Like I would go about talking to him for about like probably about a whole month mm. consistently, you know. And mm. like I would I, I ain't gonna lie, I would beat myself up about it. Like mm. you know, like if I wasn't if I wasn't popping in with this chick or this chick was flaky or mm. you know I had a bad interaction or whatever. I start taking that shit personal, mm. and like I, I know, I, I know, like I've been listening to you a lot and stuff, and mm. be like, you got to see the value in yourself mm. and stuff, like. But like, it's just, it's just tougher because I guess, like, you know, I just never, I never learned all this stuff. Like, mm. I'm just so, like, I'm kind of learning all this stuff now. Mm. Well, yeah, the thing is, like, but the thing is know, too, with the thing with a lot of this stuff too is, is that, mm-hmm. and and this is what people don't understand about. Um, like coaching and stuff because a lot of times what happens is is that there may be things like even you said you said you feel like you have uh you take it real personal you 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 feel like you can't get over it and all that other stuff that within itself is something that you know would need to be worked on you know a lot because you know and and it's what i was this is what i would say too is that you uh, do let me ask you do you go to therapy uh i used to um, but I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I just felt like, I felt like nothing they were really trying to tell me mm. was, you know, like, they would be like, why are you feeling like that? Like, mm. why are you feeling like this? Mm. Like, you know, and like, I, I, I mean, I'm very positive about that type mm. of stuff, you know, but I just felt like it wasn't working. Cause like, you know, mm. like I do have a lot of, I do have like a, a lot of self-esteem issues and it does mm. root back to some of my family issues. Right. You know, but right, and that's um, what I'm saying, and, that, I, and that's why I'm I asking know, because that, huh? that, and that's why I'm asking because a lot of that stuff would need to um, uh, be worked on on a consistent basis. So what I'm what I'm trying to explain to you is this: is that the stuff that you want to make happen, or the goals that you're trying to achieve, or the things that you want to um, you know to 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 you know to work on or whatever, it can work, but it's something that it's something that you would you would need to work on consistently right and and you would have to actually push through that feeling that you're having because look like you said let's say let's say me and you i was coaching you and we go out to like a a bar or something just to talk to some women and just like see how you interact with women or whatever right the thing is we would i would have to take you out and have you talk to girls see how you react to that Right. And then based off of that, 
have to be able to still get you to keep interacting with the chicks so that that starts to become less and less of an issue for you. Because what happens is a lot of the issues that you may have, right, is going to get in your way until you get past it. And you can't get past it until you... Because uh, you, you already recognize it, so which is good, but you're not going to be able to get past yeah. it until you're actually yeah, like, in the situation on a consistent uh-huh. basis. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, like, I, like, and like, I, I have been noticing that because, like, I took, like, I know, I know my confidence is an issue, and that's the biggest, that's the biggest barrier that I know that mm. I have, I have to try to hit. But like I said, like calling you the other day, mm. like that's something like I know that's a problem, but I don't really know how to go about it, mm. you know. And like I had, I, I took, I took numerous like speech classes and public speaking and stuff and like mm. the teachers would call me out and stuff and mm. say like you not this you not that mm. you know and it's kind of i know it was kind of deflating a little bit you know but like mm. this is something i'm very self-aware like i told you like mm. last week right i'm very self-aware of what my flaws are but it's like i don't know how to go about it you mm. know and like I, like i said like my body language just comes off really bad and like i have a lot of people that have been telling me like you know your energy just comes off a certain way that, like, it just makes people, it just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, they say, like, I have bad, bad body language. Right. And, like, people can see when I'm upset. They can see, like, they, you know, like, they can see when I'm taking something very serious, you know. Like, I think that's interfering with me trying to put myself out there because, you know, you can't really put yourself out there. You know, you sense yourself like getting frustrated mm-hmm. about certain things or certain aspects. Right. Well, the thing is this: what I, what I was see, uh, you got to work. You got to do a lot of like inner game work. You understand what I'm saying? And so, mm-hmm. have you ever you ever heard of this book called "What to Say When You Talk to Yourself"? No. All right. I want you to get this book. I'm gonna put the book on the screen. It's called "What mm-hmm. to Say When You Talk to Yourself" by Shad Helmsetter. Okay, you can get this on Amazon. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You need to mm-hmm. st- start reading this book, like ASAP. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. get this book today. You know what I'm saying? I think you probably could get like a PDF version or whatever. Go to go to Amazon, mm-hmm. get that shit today. You feel what I'm saying? Start reading that because a lot of the stuff that you, you got to do a lot of inner game work in order for you know. A lot of this stuff to really help you out first. You understand what I'm saying? You got to do some inner game work, and then you have to you got to put yourself out there. And so you got to do those things simultaneously. You understand what I'm but saying? But let me ask you this though: like mm-hmm. I asked you a while back, though mm-hmm. I asked you like a week ago, like mm-hmm. should I not? Should I? Should I just stay away from it? Stay away from until what? I gain that confidence because, like, I like, or should I just keep on put myself out there? Mm. Do and, and try to develop that way, cause like, like I say, mm. like I just don't know what way to go about it. No, I, no. What like, I'm saying is do do both. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Do both. So, for example, let's say you get this book, you read in the book, you're working on your inner game and 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 what you think about yourself and all this other stuff, right? Then then let's mm-hmm. say you know right now is 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 it's a it's such a bad time because we can't go outside yet or or, or it ain't yeah. really nothing popping off, but. You could probably still, you know, uh, you know, um, like try to even like do this online on Facebook, Instagram, just hit chicks up or whatever, even if they don't respond back to you, it'll make a difference. Mm -hmm. But let's say when the shit starts to die down and we could go back outside, you go out to different places, even bring a friend if you want to make it, you know, more fun for you, whatever. And say, look, I'm going to talk to 10 women tonight. I'm going to talk to 10 women tonight. I don't give a fuck if I get the numbers. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to go and talk to 10 women tonight. And so what happens is, is that if, if, if the girl rejects you, right, Mm -hmm. what you want to say to yourself is, okay, if a girl rejects me, I'm going to, every time a girl rejects me, I'm going to talk to two more girls. You understand what I'm saying? So you make a game out of it. So instead of rejection being a bad thing, you turn rejection into some other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not even a, a thing. So you just, you, so what I'm saying is that. While you're reading these books and working on the inner game and doing all this other stuff, right? Mm-hmm. You have to, at the same time, put yourself in these situations because when you put yourself in the situation, that's going to make, um, that's going to make you learn more because you're actually in the situation. 
Because part of your learning is going to come from the activity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can't. So this yeah. is the, so this is why when people say, "Well, let me not go out and do anything. Let me just sit here and read stuff." The reading stuff is only half the battle. The actual mm -hmm. you being in this in the field and doing the thing is the other half, which is going to teach you this stuff that no book can teach you. Because you have to train yeah. yourself to be able to get over the fear of rejection, to get over the feeling of letting rejection uh, hold you back. And the only way to do that is you need to go out and get rejected more. Do you understand what I'm saying? So Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like I get what you're saying and like I had like I get what you're saying, and I'm 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 gonna do that mm. whenever I do this. All this stuff is over with, mm. stuff, but you know, like I just like I said, like I notice a lot of my interactions when I do in public or whatever. Like I would talk to them. I would, and, and like I do understand that my 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 uh, communication skills are bad too, mm. and like that's something that I know, like because. I catch myself asking interview questions a lot. Mm -hmm. And, like, it gets to the point where I see that the girl is, like, I would, like, I can see that she just, she would look like she was just, like, okay, what, did, what the hell does he keep on doing this for? Mm -hmm. You know, and, like, I would always try to end up going for the number, you know, and I would beat myself up over it because, like, I would be like, damn, boy, that wasn't really my... Mm. That wasn't really my thing in life. So, so and basically, so, like, so basically, you're telling me that you don't have you don't have an issue approaching a girl and talking to her, right? Well, once I do put myself out there, I don't. Some I really don't. I say like, mm. "Hey, what's your name? What's up? What's your name?" Right. Or, you know, like something like that. A lot of times, it's just carrying on the conversation. Mm. A lot of times, and and how to bring it into like a sexual way, right? You know, like, cause I'm, I'm even nervous to do that. You know. Well, see that that's yeah, so okay. Like, so then, so then you good then? Cause look, the fact that you were able to, uh, cause I thought you were at a stage where you're just scared to even approach girls and shit and all that. The fact that you're able to even do that, you're, you're, you're good. So now all you need to learn, really know, how, learn how to do is, uh, flirt with the girls, build sexual tension, and flow with the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Are you, are you, are you, you're not on a bad boy membership, are you? Because I'm, I'm sure you can't. No, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I just, I'm not financially bound like that right Damn, now. Damn, bro, you're going to have to, bro, this is what I'm telling you. Yo, buy, first of all, buy this dude's book. It's only 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could, you could, hopefully you could afford that. And, yeah. and the thing is, you're going to have to, you're going to have to step, step your money game up too, so that you could invest in the game, so you can learn. Because, a lot of the stuff that you need to know, because everything you were just saying, mm -hmm. I'm like, all of that shit is on a bad boy membership. Like, every single thing you just, like, said just now is on there. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, so just, like, yeah. get that book, the uh, what to say when you talk to yourself, because that's going to help you with that inner game. And mm -hmm. what I can say to you now is, once shit starts popping off, uh, be able to be comfortable just approaching and interacting with them and not letting the fucking rejection stop you because if you if the thing is the more you do it the less that whole rejection shit's gonna gonna get to you the thing the reason why it's getting to you now is because you it happens and then you you dwell on it for so fucking long you understand what i'm saying you gotta keep going even when even when you like as soon as the chick reject you move on to the next chick within two minutes you feel what I'm saying? Like if a chick, if yeah, a chick like, reject you, mm -hmm. if a chick reject you, and there's another chick standing next to her, start talking mm -hmm. to the chick right next to her. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like literally in two yeah, seconds. Yeah, like Mr. Cario, like I just, I see myself getting, I see myself getting frustrated with that. Mm -hmm. But not only like it's just, I understand that mm -hmm. you know this is the game and everything out mm -hmm. here, and like I just noticed that you know I, I would beat myself and be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I, I understand that there's a lot of dudes out there that are so much further in the game, you mm. know, and all this. And I know you say not to just to worry about it's just the game's about you mm. a lot of times, mm. you know. But I just beat myself up a lot of times because I don't know, you know, like, I just I just know that a lot of people are more experienced than me, basically. Well, well, don't even worry about them. But that's what I'm saying. You got, you got to get yourself more experienced. <laughs> that's it. So don't worry about the fucking the the uh, the you know the fucking experience of, of another dude. Try to get yourself more experience than you were. That's what you got to think about. Get yourself more experience than you were. Because like, if you get to the point where you can get rejected and it don't affect you the same way, now you're more experienced than you were. You know what I'm saying? 
That's all you need to do. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. So you just gotta like again. I say get get that get that book. Um, find yourself a a, a, a a professional photographer if you can't do that and if you can't do that now. In the meantime, get a friend who can who has like a high quality like cell phone or 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 or, or even like a high quality camera and take mm-hmm. some better pictures. But also even before that. Get some better, you know, get some, uh, like, try, this is what you got to do. Do you, do you have any, um, I'm sure, do you have any sisters or, or, um, like, female, like, let's say female family members, cousins, whoever, take them with you I, to go shopping? I do, but we're not in, like, the best relationship. Oh, man, you got, bro, you got to, <laughs> you got to, you, you don't have no women that you know that could, that, like, one or two women that you know nah. that could that could go and and with you shopping, not one or two women. No, nah. you don't have no women in your life at all. No, you ain't got no sisters. Nah. Like, I'm I'm serious. Like, you know, I have a bro. What is going on with you? You ain't got no cousins, no female cousins, nothing. No. Nah. Jesus, bro. So wait, you live you live by yourself? I mean, I live with my brother. Okay, so do your brother know any women that could help you out? I'd have to ask him. All right, ask your brother to tell one of his female friends or girl he messing with to just come with you to go shopping, try on some shit, and have them help you get dressed so that they can tell you, hey, this looks good, this don't look good, and then figure out what you like to wear because that's going to help you because you're getting it f- from a woman's perspective. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, And see, that's the issue right there again, too, is that you should have some sort of women... That, that you know, you know what I'm saying, that you can hit up or something, like, this is what I'm saying, you gotta get yourself, again, this is the title of the fucking show, this is what I was saying earlier, the 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 more women you have, the more you're gonna get, the less women you have, the harder it's gonna get more women, this is what I'm trying to say, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work on all those things, bro, you feel what I'm saying, you gotta work on as much as you can right now to get you to that next, that next level, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, bro, I'ma holler at you, man. Yeah. All right, peace. Yeah, man. Man, it's, see, this is what I'm telling you guys. You gotta. This is why the game is important. This is why the game is important. Yo, what's poppin'? Who this? Yo, what's up, Carl? Yo, Zach, how you doing, my man? Chilling, chilling. What's going on? Yeah, man, I'm doing great, man. You know, I just like I just been, even though this coronavirus going on right now you know i feel like not that i feel like i know that i, I still re- receive some like you know some positive some positive energy and some positive blessings if you would like oh, would you like me to explain you the story it'll be about two minutes i'll try to like sum it up quickly all right real quick real quick real quick yeah so you know like, unfortunately like you know like due to the coronavirus like my grandma passed away oh damn you know? sorry to hear that bro I don't, I mean, don't even worry about it, dude, it's fine, but, you know, like, she did own some, like, you know, prime real estate in a specific neighborhood in Brooklyn, mm. you know, and, like, I didn't even know until, like, I, she died that, you know, like, she put me on, she put the apartment under my name, mm. you know, so now, like, it's mine now, you know, nice. but, like, all of, like, my family members, you know, like, everyone who, like, who expected, like, you know, just in case, like, that, it, if that situation, like, arises, like, you know, they, they wanted to get it, you know, but, you know, like, I, for some reason, I did, and now, like, jealousy is starting to arise, and, you know, they're telling me, like, I don't deserve it, you know, and I'm 21 years old, you know, mm-hmm. like, these people in their 30s, people in their 40s, and I just, and, and, and like I said, I mean, that's why I'm such a big fan of Miles Cunningham, because that victim's mentality shit, like, I never once felt that anyone was inferior to me, but I never once felt that I was superior to anyone. And I always took responsibility responsibility of my circumstances, whether I, whether I whether I earned it or whether or whether I didn't get my fair share. Mm. I always still told myself it wasn't my fault, you know. But these people feel like they're entitled to stuff. So I know a person like you who like who had success in you know the model like in the modeling industry and just you know with. Well, so hold on, wait. You like, say he's going. Hold on. You say he's going to do two minutes. What what what's the what's the specifics <laughs> of what you're saying? Cause, <laughs> like how you like like how are you able to deal with just you know like just envy and jealousy towards like that people have towards you you know 
Oh, yeah. so you say how do you deal with like the jealousy and the envy that people people have and all that other shit? Yeah. Um, but the thing is, you don't. Just let them let them be jealous and let them be envious, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta understand. Understand that, yo. Pe- a, a lot of these a lot of these people out here, man. When they have when they're jealous, when they're envious, when they start hating and all this other shit, it's shit going on inside them. You understand what I'm saying? Is it ain't nothing you doing? It's it's all about how they're feeling about what's going on with you. So it's not anything you're doing to make them, uh, you know, do that. That's just their problem. That's just how they feel. So you just ignore their ass. You understand what I'm saying? Just ignore their ass. Or, you know, don't take it personally because that's just what they're feeling. And you don't, that's nothing that you're, uh, you know, um, doing to them. So it's like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just ignore that, keep that shit pushing. And just understand you're going to always have people who are going to be envious, always have people who are going to be jealous, you know, people who are going to not like you because of this or because of that. But, you know, don't don't pay no mind to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, bro. I'll speak to you later, man. Thank All right, bro. Appreciate the call, man. All right. Yeah, don't... Yeah. Guys, man, don't be fucking <laughs> getting all like... um. Don't be getting all, you know, bent out of shape over that bullshit. You feel me? Yeah, what's popping? Hello? What's going on, bro? Yeah, it's Nesbitt, nice, mama. Yeah, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I'm good, man. How you been? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Yeah, I was, uh, I was listening to the, the call, the call in, uh, before last, and, um, well, I just wanted to say, you know, uh, I kind of, I kind of been been going through some some similar stuff, um, mm-hmm. as you probably know. But you know, yeah, I just mm-hmm. wanted to. It's not really related to dating. It's off. It's off topic. But uh, in the past year or so, I've kind of like people who I, who I thought were my friends and stuff. Kind of they turned their backs on me and, and kind of betrayed me and then uh, ditched me in a way. Um, so I kind of been left to my own devices. So when it when it comes to doing stuff that I used to do with them, I find it more difficult to do it by myself. Mm-hmm. Um, even though you know, part of me believes that I could probably do it to a higher standard by myself. But like, yeah, I can't really. It's hard to 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 motivate myself to to actually get down to doing those things. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like I've lost lost passion for a lot of things as well like when it comes to work when it comes to to um you know taking on a project or studying something i kind of can't really pay attention for more mm. than five ten fifteen minutes at a time mm. I, I get bored and and, and and leave it and um i think you know what like one of the times when i called the other week i remember in the chat room um somebody said i think it, it may have been Kay Zagin that mm. said it he said that Nez can't. This is why Nez is struggling because he can't focus on one thing at a time. And I think I think you said it as well that I always um, I don't focus on the point at, on the point at hand. I always focus on focus on irrelevant things um, mm. that aren't really related to to the point. Right. So um, I think I think that may be the case because I always it's like involuntary, but I always end up thinking about other shit, other superfluous. Mm irrelevant shit from the past or mm-hmm. you know what people said to me in the past and mm-hmm. you know bad things that happened you know many many years ago that kind of distract me from from what's going on in the present so um well that's the thing uh, like you know not, believe it or not that that book um that mm-hmm. book how, uh what to say when you speak to your when you talk to yourself mm-hmm. I, I got it like more than two years ago but i only read like three pages so far see <laughs> I, I just yeah I read like the first three pages and I just like put it, put it on my bookshelf. Right. See, it. see this, this again, and, and that's a great, that's, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up because again, see a lot of this, a lot of this, right, has to do with, you know, how bad you want something to happen. You understand what I'm saying? Like how bad do you want, you know, to, Make things happen the way you want it to happen in your life. How bad do you want 
to make money or get chicks or whatever the fuck it is. You understand? Or complete a project. How bad you want it is going to dictate, you know, how you're going to come at it. You understand what I'm saying? So, for example, some of y'all see how much weight uh, Miles lost, right? So, he wanted to lose weight that bad that he got to the goal of losing that weight. You feel what I'm saying? But he did the things that needed to be done in order to get to that point. And so the thing is, is that a lot of times what happens is y'all will make the the thoughts in your mind stop you from always pushing yourself to 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 make this shit happen. Like you have to you have, you have to change your mindset to get yourself to push yourself to do other uh, bigger and better things and make shit go down. You feel what I'm saying? So because even you just said you said I got the book, but I only read the three three pages. You understand? You gotta you gotta really go in. You gotta be all about it. You gotta be all the way in with the shit. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, even the other day when you were saying, I was like, yo, go on Tinder and get the, the, the joint. And you was like, oh, I don't want to pay for that. You understand? Know you got you to gotta pay for it so that you can be all in. So you can say, I want this that bad, that I'm willing to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Same thing with the yeah. caller, the caller, the other, the caller that just called up, you know, he was like, damn, well, I don't got the finances. I don't got this going. I don't got that going. It's like, well, listen, if you want this to happen... You gotta figure out a way to get those things going on so you can make it happen. It's 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 really that simple. So it's it's really just about like how bad do you want the thing you want and what are the things you need to do to get it and are you gonna do those things? And if you are gonna do those things, that's going to uh if if you really want it that bad, that's gonna determine that you're gonna do those things. Because right now you're saying, Well, I can't I'm not focused on all this other stuff. And part of you not focusing or not having that passion to do the things you want to do is because you may not really want it bad enough. You know what I'm saying? To be able to make it happen. That that's that's the main thing. That's the main thing. You 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 may not want it that as bad as you think you do. You know what yeah, I mean? that's why I was that's why I was pondering as well. I thought. You know what I'm saying? Came to a well, thought I came to a realization that maybe I, I it's not really my passion after all, and I don't want it to happen. Right, because my question, my I question think. is, what, what do you, what do you want though? What do you want in your life? What do you want to happen? What do you want to be going on? Well, I want to progress in my career. Mm. I want to, I want to re-enroll in university and study electronic engineering. Mm. Um, and you know, get qualified in that. Mm. Uh, you know, I want to start a successful business down the road, mm. and um, you know, make money off that as well. Mm. Uh, but sheesh, um, I never really thought about it in any concrete kind of kind of form. Um, those those are the things I want, uh, sort of like medium to long term. Mm. Well, that's the thing. You got to, you got to, look, you got to spend some time with yourself. You got to spend some time with yourself and be like, okay, these are the things I want. And then you have to write a list of the things I, that you need to do to get it. You feel what I'm saying? And, it's that, and then you got to go do it. That That is that simple. And then you can't let the setbacks and the bullshit and the nonsense stop you. But again, you got to have a certain mindset to be able to, to do that. You, you understand what I'm saying? You got to have more of a, see, and this, and this is exactly why, this is exactly why I try to, for example, we talk about, you know, attracting women and all this other stuff. Why do you think I always try to harp on, uh, looks not mattering? Why do you think I've always been about saying, look, it doesn't fucking matter. The reason why is because that's a more positive mindset to go forth with when it comes to attracting women than saying, well, it's all just about your looks. Because as soon as you say that, you're having a negative mindset because if you think, right, that you don't look good, then you're done. So you basically made your situation a negative thing. But if you say, yo, it doesn't, the looks don't matter, I'm gonna still get these chicks, that means your mindset is on progression. You see what I'm saying? And so that's from what, what we know from you is, is that you're always harping on the fucking, you know, you're talking about giga chads and all this other stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? And that and that is is reflective in you not being focused. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's, but but you know, saying that's all well and good, but but saying 
something does it doesn't make it true though, does it? Like I mean, because you, you were using the example of, of, of um, the analogy of you know having a university degree and everything, and, and mm. saying that you can get a good job without a degree and, mm. and, and a good job with a degree mm. at the same time, and comparing it to to looks and saying you know you can get uh, chicks by looking good and not looking good at the same time. But when it comes to university degrees, it's uh, you know, university degrees still still open a lot of doors for you. I don't think you can get a good job without without a, a college or university degree. A, a high paid job, at least a good job, um, it's going to be very hard to get without a uni degree. But, uh, the, but see, the that's what is, again. That's what I'm saying. That's like a, that's what your thoughts are. That's what your thoughts are right now, bro. You, you're, you're you're saying exactly, bro. You think you think I needed a degree to do what I'm doing right now? Well, no, but exactly. No, no, so no, nobody, so. nobody gave you that job. I'm talking about like jobs, like you know, software engineering. Um, you know, being a physicist. Uh, go down. You know, whatever. No, no, no this what this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Those types of jobs. This is what I'm saying. Great. Like, for example, I have a friend who he went to. Uh, he studied film. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't need to get a film degree, but he studied film and he works in film. Because he has the 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 experience and the knowledge, so he didn't necessarily need to have a degree. He just needed to get the knowledge. So he has the knowledge, which is why he has the the well paying job. So that's what I'm saying. Where you have to look for what you can do and what you have available and what you have access to to make something happen in the way you want it to make it happen. But every time when you're coming up with well, this can't happen because of this. And th just like how people, I'm hearing dudes on, on online, uh, like this is this is guy, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say his name, but he he's a dating coach, but he's he he he's one of my uh, he's on my Facebook friend feed or whatever. And this nigga, he 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 talking about yo, we need to put a pause on the game because of the coronavirus, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm like. You a fucking dating coach talking about you need to put a pause on the game? How about you think about ways to make the game work for you even with the fucking coronavirus, right? But it's a different way of thinking. You see what I mean? So as soon as you say, well, shit is, shit is done, it's a wrap, it's over, right? You've shut down all possibilities. So your mind already has shut down all possibilities. So when you shut down possibilities, then it doesn't open your mind to think of ideas, to actually benefit from, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? No, I think I think I get affected by by some naysayers as well. Um, you know, subconsciously, even though I try try to to not let it affect me. You know, people who say shit like you know you can't do this because of this, you can't do this because of X Y Z. But that's but who the fuck are they though? Who that's what I'm saying? Who are they? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like yeah, who, no, nobody. Exactly. So why are you even listening to these motherfuckers? Because why would I listen to somebody talking about I can't do something? Because all they're saying is they can't do something. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I listen to people who say, yo, I could do this shit because they're a reflection of what I'm, where I'm going. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You can't, you can't listen to these people. You know, when it comes to stuff like, um, well, sometimes I bump into people who, I, who I've fallen out with uh, in the past who, mm -hmm. who may have been my, well, former friends, you know, enemies, you know, adversaries, rivals, etc. Mm. And, you know, I try to avoid these people. Mm. And uh, in many cases, I succeed. But sometimes, you know, I can't really get away from them. Like, I, I try to not speak to them, but they, they end up coming up to me and, and trying to speak to me. So mm. like, when I'm in a confined space, I don't really know what to do around them. I don't know if I should, like, ignore them or, you know, say, try and be polite, say hi and bye, or just, you know, turn around and, like, Bro, you, 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 again, you, you thinking, again, you thinking about two, way too many things that ain't got nothing to do with what you're trying to do. If it, it, look, you got to figure out what you want it, what you want, right? Because you so you just said you want to uh, start your own business, you want to do engineering, all that other stuff. Why would you even have time to think about some some goofy ass motherfucker who who don't like you or whatever when you should be focused on that shit? You understand what I'm saying? Like why that see when you when you don't when you don't have a focus and a passion and in in, in in a direction of where you're going, that's when you start thinking about all this other bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Like 
If you're so busy doing what you do, you ain't got time to think about no other stupid shit like this. That's what I'm saying. You're thinking about all the other stupid shit because you're not focused. Yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, one like, time you were... Go you ahead. Said in a video that, you said in a video that you were at some... Were, were you in, in a lecture hall or something at university or, or at an event and some some chick was uh, was arguing with you or something and then you... I mean, you, you, you thought about clapping back or answering back, but, but you didn't in the end because you, you, didn't, you didn't want to waste any, any energy on or expend any energy on this, on this goofy chick you said. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, why, why bother doing all of that shit? They're like, there's no, there's, you understand what I'm saying? Like, focus more on the shit you're doing. That's, that's all I'm saying. Focus, figure out what you want to do and focus more on that and figure out what you need to do to make it happen because what you're going to gonna understand or what you're going to see is the shit that you need to accomplish is going to take time and energy. And if you really want to make it happen, it's going to take a lot of your time and energy because you're actually going to be doing certain things that need to really get done. And so you're not going to have time to worry or think about no other shit. That's what I'm saying. So you got to you gotta stay w way more focused on what you're doing, on your shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? And all the other extra bullshit that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do no that ain't gonna really affect you you feel what i mean but yo bro right. appreciate the call my brother right. let me get a few more right, of these up in here Take care. Get all right bro yeah i gotta you gotta stop letting these these you know getting people get to you man all right so make sure you guys get the like sub click the donate button make sure you guys do that make sure you guys do that You. You. Yo. It's Bobby. You gotta turn down your turn down your uh, your 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 uh, joint. You. What up? Bobby, who this? No. Man, you got you got. I'm, I'm gonna have to call. You gonna have to call back. You ain't turning on your shit. Yo, what's popping? Who this? What's going on, bro? Chilling, man. How you holding up with everything, bro? I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm great. What's going on with you? you been out, have you been out the house? I've been out the house every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, no, there was, there was one day I, didn't, I wasn't out the house, but basically every day I've been out the house. Me too, man. I'm still regular. I, still, I go running. I go to the post office. Mm -hmm. Right. Everything regular. I'm not, I'm not saying be negligent, you know, right. but shit. Still, shit still the same, bro. The mm -hmm. people who really need to be worried. The people who sick, now I know the people who's out there who got stuff and they may not show signs of it. Mm. That's one thing, but I, I don't think we should be worried as much as we are. You know, what's really like getting with me is like, you know, when this thing is going to get back in order so we can start making this money. You feel right, me? right. Mm, facts. But anyways, but anyways, um, to uh, Naz, Naz, man, I don't know, bro. I'm, I wish there was a way I could like send kind of energy to him. Mm. Because it's like, Nez, it, it, I've been listening to you for like two years, and it's like, it's like Nez don't want to, Nez don't want to get right. Right, right, right. Nez, bro, we love you, man. It's like, <laughs> do you love yourself, though? Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, do you, do, you feel, do you feel better, like, when you're down? You know, it's like, because I've been listening to this one thing. Uh, on YouTube, anybody can listen to it. It's called Millionaire Mindset. Right. And it's on YouTube and um, the audio book. And, it's, and I've been listening to a lot of other stuff like that, but it makes me understand that, like, because I, I, had, I had started my business once, and I noticed that I kind of struggled in it. Mm -hmm. and, a lot of, and, a, and a lot of reasons why I struggled in it was because of subconscious programming and stuff that, you know, a lot of times I couldn't control, like, things that were ingrained in me through childhood. Right. So, you know, but once you become aware of those kind of things, like, you can start to work on resolving it. Like, it's not your it's not your fault mm. that you are the way that you are, but you, it's your responsibility mm. to fix it. Right, right, you exactly. Know what I'm exactly. Now, to Nez, do you want to take that responsibility to fix it. Mm -hmm. That's the question. Mm -hmm. And it seems like you don't want to. Right. And, and 
And I'm not saying that, you know, you're alone because we all have certain things. Shit, I'm supposed to be working right now, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? So we're not perfect. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but the thing about it is we have to take accountability for ourselves and mm-hmm. in the situations that we're going through. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like a lot of us, it, it's easier for us to just kind of just feel bad for ourselves. But here's the dangerous part about that. Mm-hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20 years have passed, and you're still in the same situation that you were in mm-hmm. previously. Facts. Because it's, it's, like I said, it's not your fault that you're in the position that you're in, mm. but it is your responsibility. And if you don't take that responsibility to try to correct it, you will find out that you'll be on your deathbed, and you'll be wishing that you had took that responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know that? So he's talking about, like, he has the trouble focusing and... You know, oh, I only read three pages of the book. Here's the thing. Your mind is a muscle, just mm-hmm. like every other part of your body. Right. If, you, if you're having trouble focusing, that's okay. Mm-hmm. But here's what you do. You have an option. Mm-hmm. And that option is to train your mind to become stronger so that you can focus right. better. Exactly. Focus longer. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So it's... A, it's up to him. Like, what is what does he want to do? Like, what what do you want, bro? Do you just want to, you want us to feel bad for you? Mm-hmm. Do you want to feel bad for yourself? Or do you ever, do you really want to fix this problem? Mm-hmm. Or and, and if you did fix the problem, would you be okay with the problem being fixed? What, what, what if chicks started, you know, cooperating with you? What if you know money started coming in? What if your friends started being good to you? Mm-hmm. Could you handle that? Could you actually handle mm-hmm. things going good? Right. Facts. Nah, real talk. No. That's some real shit. That's some real shit because people, people, they want, they they want the success, but it's like, can you actually handle the success once it gets there? And I think some people aren't ready to handle the success, which is why they don't even want to get successful. You understand what I'm saying? They 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 too scared for that shit to go down. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's, a, it's real. So, it's crazy. I mean, my my question to you because even even I even I struggle with that too. But mm-hmm. I'm working on it every day to be, you know, better than I was. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, I, I made a, a comment on one of your past videos. I think it released like two days ago. You're like, uh, I was like, um, the world wants pro- wants to program us to um, to 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 be ashamed of the things that we want and to feel like we're doing something illegal or we're doing something wrong for wanting the things that we want. Right. You know, and mm-hmm. and that that fucks with your programming. But mm-hmm. you have to realize that ninety percent of everything is bullshit. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything Preach. that we see in society is bullshit. Like a lot of these girls, like like I like the dude that that the, the one guy who has showed us his Tinder profile, mm-hmm. the one you just showed it, mm-hmm. that guy is brave as he's brave as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because a lot a lot of us we might be in the in the chat room trying to, you know, trying to make fun of him, but how many of us would actually do that? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So my thing to him is he he has more nuts than he actually he's actually aware of. Exactly, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So my my thing to, my thing is the only thing to him is I would have suggested is probably like, you know, you know, yeah, work on yourself too. And then, you know, like, we can see that, you know, he probably needs to work on his war- his wardrobe a little bit. You know mm, what I'm saying? Right. That like, that, like you say, your appearance, your appearance. Excuse me, I had a little bit of wine earlier. Right. You, know, you got to work on it. <laughs> work on your appearance. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but my thing is, you know, like, don't be ashamed for what, this, what the fuck you want, bro. Just mm. go out there and get it. Right. And, you know... It's not that complicated, and but to me, to my question to you, Lucario, is, mm. you know, like, like, first, my question is, you know, because I, I consider myself to be a decent dude, but mm. a decent looking dude, but it seems like, you know, I get like more friction. I get like when I get cooperation, when I get cooperation from women, I get cooperation, mm. and it's like, but it's like with the girls that you know that I see that you know, you know this girl she'll be nice. You know, I really would like to get with her, you know, and I'm not acting any kind of different way. I just do the same thing I always do. But it's to me, it's like they don't really go in like they don't really come into the, the trap like, you know, I want them to. Is it is it that certain girls might look at a guy and say, well, he looks like he might be a little too serious mm-hmm. or he's too good looking or he's too this and that they just don't or he or maybe he, he looks like you said 
they can see your energy. Mm. Is it like, oh, this guy doesn't look like he's on bullshit? Mm. And that might kind of make them be a lot hesitant to kind of approach you. What do you think? So you're saying that w- would the chick be hesitant, um, um, like if she sees something in you that she might be a little intimidated by or something like that? Yeah, like this dude. Not to say like okay, because I consider myself a good looking dude, but I'll, you know, I'm mm. just saying that's we're not talking about that. I'm talking about like you can you say energy. They can read your energy because I'm not like a bullshit type of dude. Mm. Like see, like if Nez was my son, I'd probably slap him on the back of the head and say, "Get right." You understand? Right, what I'm saying? right, right. See, he would he he wouldn't have been in that situation. But then there are some people that be like, "Oh, it's okay, Nez." Mm. Over time, right. it'll, it'll fix. It'll things will fix themselves, mm. you know. And I and I feel like because I'm the type of dude that slap you in the back of your head and mm. say and show you how to get yourself together. Mm. Do you think that more people are programmed to kind of be adverse to that type? Of oh, person, of course, type of personality. A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent, nigga. You just explained my life. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what happens because you got to understand something. Most people don't want. Like, they don't want to hear the truth. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear real shit. They don't want to hear... They don't want to get down to the nitty-gritty the nitty of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And so, what happens is sometimes people avoid you because you are a representation of that. And so, a lot of people... See, a lot of people like to be... Uh, they like to, to, to lounge around and relax in, in dysfunction and ignorance. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And so whenever you, like, let's say, again, if you're dealing with a certain girl, she might be used to dealing with guys who are, like, you know, unorganized, guys who are uh, bullshitters, guys who are unreliable, you understand? So now she meets you, and you're an organized, cool, calm, collected, reliable motherfucker, she's not ready to deal with that because... She she feels she can't she can't live up to or handle that type of situation because what it's going to do is is going to expose that she is on some bullshit, which is why she likes to deal with motherfuckers who's on some bullshit. So when you're dealing with people who they don't they don't like to come to terms with reality and they like to live in illusion. When the more real you are, they don't want to fucking uh, 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 come anywhere near you. They don't want to have to deal with none of that because. What it is is that you're a representation or you're a reminder of how much they are a bullshitter, how much they are they are on some fuck shit. You understand what I'm saying? So they they're trying to steer clear from your ass. You understand what I'm saying? That, yeah. That's just how the shit works. You see what I mean? Yeah, because I'm I, I'm at the point where I'm like I'm about to I'm about to because I I work out more and you know like I'm just getting more grounded into my masculinity mm-hmm. and um. Even on my Tinder profile, if you see my Tinder profile, you'll probably be like, that's not what you should do. Because mm. I put on my profile, I didn't put much on my profile, I just put, I'm very straightforward. Mm. And I think that's probably fucking up the situation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, like you, because, said, you said, you just put, you just put, I'm very straightforward? Yeah, I put, I'm 6'2", and I'm very straightforward. You right, know what I'm right. And I, <laughs> I think that's fucking up my, my situation on Tinder, mm. because... On on POF, I don't put that, but then I have like I have a few chicks who will hit me, who will send me messages. But mm-hmm. on Tinder, it's kind of like you know the girls that I see that you know mm-hmm. I really like, you know, because I like them, I like them uh, slim, dark skinned chick, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like the right. pretty dark skinned chick. And you know, the darker the better. Mm-hmm. But it's like, and I'm a dark skinned dude too, mm-hmm. so it's like, it's like to me, it's like I don't know. I want I wonder how much. How much does looks really play a part of it? Because you could be a good-looking dude, mm. but I can tell because from my energy, ever since I was a young, young person, ever since I was like uh, a kid, mm. people would always say, you know, oh, I'm, I'm serious, I'm very serious, mm. and I think that people might they might be able to read that energy. But mm. the thing is, once you get to know me, I'm very playful, I'm mm. very relaxed. Mm. But I feel like I feel like a lot of women might be. Uh, deterred from mm. my type of energy, that no bullshit energy. So right. how much does how much does that no BS that no BS energy mm. versus look? How does that work together? Because like you said, like they might see that they might be attracted to you, mm. but if they see that you're not on bullshit, mm. they might not even want to fuck with you. Yeah, and, that, and see that, that that's just basically basically you got to understand you're gonna have to work harder. You understand what I mean? See, it's like this. It's like this. 
any because what what which which what 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 you what your situation is and and you know and what happens with with a lot of guys in your situation is that you're gonna you gotta understand like I, like I said this before while saying that. You know, there's a saying that's, that, that says the masses are asses. You understand what I'm saying? And so what you got to understand is, is that the mass of people, I, I'll give you an example, even just on YouTube. If you notice, most of the videos that get like a lot of fucking views when it pertains to like uh, women and stuff is where where someone in the video is like you know like a MGTOW or talking a lot of shit about women you understand what I'm saying because they get more views because most of the masses right of men are ha they have issues with dealing with women you understand what I'm saying and they're frustrated yeah. and whatever you understand so they're gonna gravitate to that you see what I mean and so the same thing applies in uh, a, a relationship scenario situation you're gonna have a mass of women who they'll say, oh, I want a guy who's on point and who's good and who's this and who's that, but they're not they're not actually ready to deal with real shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, a lot of them aren't yeah. ready to deal with real shit. So what's going to happen is there are some of them who are ready to deal with real shit, but you have to sift through the bullshitters to get to the ones who's ready to deal with real shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because the, the, the masses of women aren't ready to deal with real shit. You understand? And to be frank, masses of dudes ain't ready to deal with real shit. It's only a small amount of people who's ready to deal with real shit. You understand what I'm saying? Just like we was talking about with with uh with with, with um with Nez earlier. It's like, you know, shout out to Nez, but Nez sounds like he ain't ready to deal with real shit. You see what I'm saying? And so there's there's a lot of people who are like that where it's like they say they want it, but they don't want it bad enough to be able to deal with real shit. So, so when the, when the chick is fucking with you and she sees you and she's dealing with you, it's like, damn, well, I, I'm not able to just play games with him. And, and a lot of women low-key don't like that because a lot of women low-key like to deal with a guy where they can sort of, uh, you know, weasel their way into playing games with him. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And so what happens is, is that the harder it is to play games with you, the more on point she has to be. And what most women realize or they know consciously is that they're not that on point. So therefore, if they're dealing with you and they're like, okay, well, this motherfucker, he's so on point, shit, you know, I don't know, if, like, what happens when I bring my bullshit to the table, will he, will I be able to deal with him? And then she's like, nah, I'm probably not going to be able to deal with him, so let me not fuck with him in the first place. You understand? But then this is why you have a smaller amount of women who are on top of their shit and who are on top of their game and who is actually who actually want to deal with real shit that's that's your your that's the the window for you you feel what i'm saying that's the window right. you see what i mean because because mm -hmm. because you, you kind of remind me of myself where this this is why cuz even with myself um you know and i talk about the numbers game cuz the numbers game for everybody but even for myself it's even a much like more of a numbers game because I'm, I'm approaching a woman and I'm like, listen, um, I'm not going to be your next husband. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a wife, I got a girlfriend. Right. And so they got it. They got to be able to deal with all of that shit and still be on point. You understand what I'm saying? And, and the thing is a lot of them's going to fall by the wayside. You see what I mean? Cause they're not, they're not ready. They're not, they're not at that level to deal with that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Right. This shit is frustrating, you know, because I mm -hmm. see, I see, I see chicks out here like beautiful women, mm -hmm. and it's like, yo, what the fuck do you want? Like, mm -hmm. you, you you say you want a, a tall, dark, handsome dude who's mm -hmm. intelligent, mm -hmm. but I'm not saying I'm that type of dude, but I am that type of dude, <laughs> right? <That's good. laughs> but <laughs> but it's like you're you're repelled by it, mm -hmm. and then. The, and, that, and then I wonder if that's why you see so many, like, nice-looking chicks mm -hmm. with, like, dudes who you can kind of read their energy and it's like, this dude is kind of goofy. This dude yes, is exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying because, again, the chick looks nice, but sh her energy is matching that goofy. Like, she's a goofy, hot chick. You understand what I'm saying? That's the, that's the problem because, I, bro, I see this shit all the time. 
I see I see this shit all the time where and I and I've been out with chicks like that too where it's like the chick will be bad but I'm like yo you're fucking whack. You understand what I'm saying? So so even if you was to get with that type of girl, most likely it wouldn't even work out anyway. You see what I'm saying? And so what it is is that again the the, the shit has to the shit has to match. This is why a lot of times when dude when people be talking about yo it's just about looks, it's just about looks. It's not just about looks because the energy still has to match. This is why you can see a really good looking chick with a guy who, let's say, is probably like nerdy. That that chick is also fucking nerdy. You feel what I'm saying? But they don't that they don't really see that. There's some parts of her that has that nerdy energy. You see what I mean? But the thing you gotta understand is that the more on point you are, you understand what I'm saying? The 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 harder it's going to be for you to find those chicks that click with you you understand and, 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 you, and the thing is again like i said the masses are asses this is why a nigga like low pump could, could could have 200 to 200 million views on his video and talib kwali <laughs> has 500 000. you understand what i'm saying it's because mm. the masses are asses bro you have to understand that and so and so that's the thing where it's like you got to be able to to sift through the shit to find that small small percentage of people, small percentage of women who are about that that real shit. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's the hard part. That's the burden of, you know, I, I call it the burden of being intelligent. The burden of being on point is that most of the people aren't. So it's like, you know, I, like it, like like I don't know if you ever seen that meme with fucking. Uh, that Toy Story meme with, with Buzz Lightyear and the and the and the guy that the the cowboy, and he says he says, "Look, idiots, idiots everywhere." You understand what I'm saying? That's how you're gonna feel. I'm telling you, that's how you're gonna feel, and you probably felt it already. That's how you're gonna feel dealing with these motherfuckers. And the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The reason why is because the masses are asses. So that's why you're gonna run into a bunch of chicks who they are not fucking. They're not ready. It's unfortunate, but they're not ready. You know what I'm saying? I felt, I felt, I felt like that my whole life. You're right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's going to be... And the thing is, you're going to have to play the numbers game on steroids. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning, you're going to have to do more work than the average dude to find chicks who... Because it's not about even... Because, trust me, there's going to be a lot of chicks who's going to want to fuck with you because... Uh, they're gonna want to fuck with you because you're attractive to them, but either what's gonna happen is it most likely is gonna be short lived. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. their bullshit is going to at some point seep out if they're on some bullshit. You understand? And if they're on some yeah. real shit, the 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 uh, the real shit's gonna come out. It's gonna be what it is. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I got a chick right now. You know, like she's she's nice, she's a nice little dark skin mm -hmm. chick, and we used to hang out every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, last what like this week, you know, with all the the shit that's going on right now, so you know, the schedule's a little lighter. So I was like, I hit her up on Wednesday. I was like, Yo, I want some of that chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she was like, she was like, Oh, so what are you saying? You want some pussy? I was like, Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I want some pussy. So right. I came over, and then um, you know. We got to talk, and she like, we got to talk. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, because she don't hit me with that before. So she was she was pretty much saying, like, yo, so where, where is this going? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. And she was like, yeah, because she's like, she like we've been, we been, we, we been chilling for six months. Oh, I see her, like, once a week. Right. And I was like, it's been, it's been six months? She's like, yeah, it's been six months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, um, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, what so, so like what what is this where are we going and and I'm telling her like what do you mean where are we going mm -hmm. like so, so I'm saying like do you, do you want like a title or something is that what you're looking for a title mm -hmm. she's like no not, not necessarily a title but I just want to know what are we I'm like and I was like I was just being real like do you understand that what we have right now is a relationship mm -hmm. right and, you know we, I'm not your boyfriend, I'm not your husband, but do you understand that this, what we have is a relationship? Mm. And and I, I don't think she understood. I think that hit her kind of hard. Mm. Because a lot of women, they be, they be wanting a title mm -hmm. for no reason. Mm -hmm. For no reason. Because you know, we just chilling. It's not like, it's not like you say, because I know you say, you know, if you want to 
certain commitment from a girl, you're going to have to, of course, elevate her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with you. Right. But what, with me and her, we just, once once a week or once every other week, I see her, mm -hmm. and she's asking me where we're going. And I'm like, and, and I'm like, so, and she's like, well, you know, because I had brought her, I brought her, I had cooked, because I cooked my food every week. Mm -hmm. I had brought her stuff. She's like, well, you know, you, you do these nice things, but I don't understand, like, you know, I'm like, well, I don't have to be your boyfriend to do nice things right. for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then, and then she's like, "Well, you know, you know, I just, I just want to know, because like, I don't want one day, you know, I look and I and I finish her sentence. So you don't want one day to look on Facebook, and Instagram, and see I marry a chick, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, so, so what? So, so that's jealousy. That's you know, right. I'm like, that's jealousy, right? And she's like, I don't want to. That's not jealousy. I'm like, no, that's really what it is. And first of all, I'm not treating any other chick different. Every chick that I deal with is mm -hmm. the same. So she's like, so what other chicks are you doing this for? I'm like, look, don't worry about that. <laughs> what I'm saying is, do you understand that what me and you have is an actual relationship? And she, cause, so, so she, pretty much what she was trying to say is she found a, she, she's talking to another dude, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I think what's going on with her and the other dude is I think they're, they're probably going to, um, become something right mm -hmm. right and she's trying she's trying to see what she can get out of me before that happens right you know before she makes that decision right right before she makes that decision mm -hmm. and you know i fucked her real good too that night mm -hmm. and the thing about and I, and I could feel it in the back of my mind and then you know usually on sunday she'll hit me up and say what time are you coming over but she hasn't been doing that in the past two weeks so mm -hmm. that's what's happening right you feel me mm -hmm. so and then and then and then to me and it's my mind okay so you want you want to deal with this dude, but the thing about it is, is that really what you want, or do you just want a title? Do mm -hmm. you just want, just you want to show the society that you have a boyfriend or you have a husband? Because mm -hmm. because uh, what I'm trying to say is, what do you really want out of life? Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's the same thing to back to Ned. Like, what do you really want? Mm -hmm. Because the thing about it is, is a lot of times people have cognitive cognitive dissonance. It's like. Do you want to have fun, or do you want to be somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend? Because the thing about it is, once you become that girlfriend mm -hmm. or you become that boyfriend, are you still gonna be happy? Are you? Are you right? But see, but see, that's on? but see, that's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about. All the stuff you saying, right? All the stuff you yeah. saying is to her. She's not. She's not even at a, a level to even understand and respect what you're saying. You understand what I mean? Like, and that, and that's, and that's the unfortunate part about it. Because I, I tell you, there's nothing worse than dealing with a chick and you realize, damn, she don't fucking get it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she don't get it. Yeah. And, and 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 as you're saying this, I've had those conversations with women. I'm like, I'm like, damn, she's a basic bitch. She don't get it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, the masses are asses. This is what I'm saying is, it's the burden of you having that intelligence is because everything you're saying is is real is, is is real simple you understand what i'm saying we're actually having a relationship you know what i'm saying we're doing this and we're doing that we're doing the thing right but but what she wants is the title for her ego to feel a certain type of way which is why she's like oh well, let me try to make it probably happen with the other guy she don't want the other guy she just want the title she actually wanted with you but she's just like well i'll settle for the other guy because at least Maybe he'll give me the title, and this is why she'll be probably miserable in her situation. And then later on, when that shit don't work out, she want to come back to you talking about, hey, what's up, and hey, stranger, and how you been, and all that other stupid shit. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? And and again, it's what I'm saying where you got you just got to understand what um, what position you're in in relation to you dealing with these women and understand that, hey, there's going to be fucking chicks out here who, who just, you know, they just not going to get it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And what I really wanted to, what I really wanted to talk to you about was the ego thing and you brought it mm. up first. Mm. And because, you know, I look at everything and I and I see, man, so many fucking people are so egotistical and it fucking drives me nuts. Mm. And the thing about it is, I mean we, we all have our ego in place, I guess, to protect us, right? Mm. Right. But it's 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 getting so ridiculous, like like the only content that I could really watch on YouTube is mm. yours mm. because everybody, oh my, it's, it's disgusting, man. I don't really know how to explain it. It's disgusting. Nah, I already it's know. Trust me. We already, we already on the same frequency. Trust me. I already, everything you're saying 
it's I, I, I feel every I understand exactly what you say. You ain't even gotta say it. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, ain't even bro. gotta say it. I already know. I already know. It's 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 so and it, it's like it's one of them things where and and this is what this is what this is what, the thing where you you uh uh like it's almost like like when you're kind of like aware and I, I don't like to I don't like to say the word woke because that got so trendy, but like you say to yourself Am I crazy or is everybody else crazy? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You say you're like, yo, am I fucking nuts or is everybody else fucking nuts? Because it's either one of those two. You understand what I'm saying? So I I know exactly what you're talking about. And it's like the problem is it's sometimes hard to connect with people because again, the masses are asses. And so because uh. you're not, you know, as slow as most people, it's gonna be hard for you to connect with a mass of people. You understand what I'm saying? Usually when a mass, when a person, usually in general, when a person can connect so well with a mass of people, a lot of times it's because they ha on that same frequency. So they're just as dumb as those people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Usually. Oh my now there's always, there's always exceptions to the rule, but usually it's because they're on that same, same sort of level. This is why you can have these like goofy ass rappers, you know, connecting with all these other people because they make the stupid ass goofy music and the people they're connecting with are stupid and goofy you feel what i'm saying then you have a motherfucker who they're they're an actual they're an artist that's intelligent but they got a small ass fucking uh, uh uh fan base that's not that's not by that's not by accident you see what i'm saying it's because yeah. that's the that's the the, the way that you know the shit is uh is is orchestrated, but yo, bro, I gotta I gotta head up out of here because I got I got a few things I gotta do. But uh, yo, man, I, I always appreciate your call, bro, my my dude. All right. Yeah, man. We'll holler at you, man. Up later. All right, peace, peace. Later, man. All right. So shout out to uh shout out to my dude Dada Saints with the with the uh, with the five dollar donation. Shout out to you, my brother. Um, oh, let me take this call real quick because this dude sent the donation real quick. Yo, what's popping? Is this the man? Yo, yo, what happened to your call, bro? I can't hear you. What happened? Hold on, hold on. Damn, this shit fucking froze on my ass. This shit froze on, on my shit. Damn, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Fuck, this shit frozen. Yeah, dude, man, I seen, you, I seen you just call, but I don't know why this shit freezing up right now. This shit freezing up right now. So this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Demand, I want you to call back. Um, What am I going to do? I'm going to probably do another one tomorrow, but if not tomorrow, Wednesday. I want you to call back on Wednesday, and I'll take your call because this shit is this Skype is acting funny right now. But listen, um, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna probably do another one either tomorrow, but definitely Wednesday. I'm gonna be doing a joint with Steve the Dean tomorrow morning during the afternoon. Um, but yeah, appreciate everybody tuning in. Make sure that you guys um go to mrlocario.com, go to badboymembership.com, um. Make sure you guys get this book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, hard copy, or audiobook. Go to mrlocario.com to get your copy today. And I will holla at you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I am gone. Y'all be safe.